Redemption begins Find yourself within Take up your blade Let the fears within fade Stories are told As the day roll Don't be afraid Make your sin Hello, checkers and pleasers. How we doing tonight? Good. Hey. Yo, doing Howdy. well. Hello, hello. Here is it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Check Please, the D&D live show. I'm your DM Beardy, and down here are my lovely players. Hello, my name is Kenny, and I play Risen the Fate Weaver. Hello, everyone. I'm Foley, and I play Kerla, the half-orc life oracle. And I'm Zeno. I play Vera, the swarmonger. I'm Screwy, and I play Petravian, the Hive Keeper Paladin of Aiden and Mellifera. And I'm Grum, I play Levette, and it feels like it's been a fucking century. I know, right? right? <laughs> oh my <laughs> it really god. Does. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. <clears throat> and with that, let's roll. So last time, the party made their way back to Fuchdorf Castle, and had a long heart-to-heart -heart with Lilith, Levette's mother. And after some divine intervention, uh, helped out by Riz, uh, they managed to alleviate some part of her curse. The group then decided to pursue the Pinterest estates in order to get this partially completed soul siphoning device that Karis's old master had commissioned. So currently, the party is in Riz's Vardo, and we open on the morning of the 15th of September. So you all awake. Have at. All right. Oh. Rizzle just flick their fingers and open everyone's doors as they're still in their rooms. All right, everyone. Let's get on the road. What? Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, you the jealousies. I forget. Did, did Vera sleep in the Vardo today? I don't think I'm... Vera went into the Vardo, so I have no idea where she ended up sleeping. If she did, like, she's welcome to, but... Probably the cart. Okay. <laughs> Sleep with the beehives in there. Yep. Probably Fucking stuck freak. her dinner in the fridge. Because we have that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, double checking. Witchcraft. I mean, those frostworms nearly killed us at the very beginning of all of this. The least they can do is hook us up with a fridge as a result. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Uh, good morning, Petravian. You sleep all right? You sound a bit uh, tired there. Uh, I've been a bit up. I didn't think I could use it a little more, but we need to get going. How many hours of sleep do you need? I don't know, but a fortnight doesn't feel like it's enough. I mean... You might... Wait a minute. Is that that climbing, like clock climbing sound? You snowing? In the middle I mean... of the night? I'm not really, like, I'm, I, I tried I mean, I my hand and never did have my consoles, though. I work out, but you might want to see someone about that. Maybe Kaya can help. I don't know if I've got a spell for a deviated septum, but I can see what I can do. <laughs> what Look, do you mean? I have, I have large adenoids, okay? That's one way of putting it. Adenoids? <laughs> adenoids? Adenoids. Noise. You know, See, dangly things. Yeah. You know, the dangly things. Yeah. Do you want me to nuts? remove your dangly things, or... Would it help? Wait, wait <laughs> yo. You, you no, 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 I just gotta dip them in salt before. water, they'll be fine. I don't understand anatomy enough for this. Anyways, where's Vera? Oh. Uh, you look granted, Vera door. is not in the Vardo. 
And then uh, we all stay knock, at the knock, castle, knock. so maybe she stays there. As I said, I flicked open everyone's doors, Fury. Oh, that's right. <laughs> One of us should Leans probably in. check on her, and I, yeah. I'm not sure that I want to be, given where we're off to next. Um, Are we about to eat? Yeah, I was going to say, Lavette, you seem like you would probably be the gentlest to bring this up, so if you wouldn't mind. I don't know if gentle is what Vera responds to, but I'll try my best. Well, it might be needed right now. I suppose. Any Anyone for tea in the meantime? Shall I put the kettle on? I, yes, please. Raz? I'm good. Black. Carla will head over and make tea. You ready? <laughs> I'll head out the Vardo and I'll bring our two bits. Okay. So as you pop out of the Vardo, you're still uh, parked, I believe, in front of Fuchsdorf Castle. Mm hmm. Um, the morning sun peeks over the, the horizon. Um, it's a good question. Vera? Where am I? Yeah. So Yeah, does Lavette see you? Yeah, so you would probably see Vera taking a beehive out of the cart that she rides in. And is probably placing it on a tree on your castle, your mom's castle manor. Hmm. So I'm kind of looking off. at that. I'm oh, looking at that like I hope that doesn't create problems. I'm like, oh, uh, good, good morning, Mel. Vera will just look over at you. Uh, yes, yeah, so you know where all you need to go, and we need to get going really pretty soon. Is that now? Well, everyone else is getting ready, but I think that you're probably the most prompt about it, so I don't know that. You need to be in a hurry. Listen, if we're leaving, we're leaving, okay? So just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um. And you are you coming, Louise? I mean, you're not going to be able to find it without me, probably. Probably not, but I just wanted to make sure you're okay with this, but... Okay, enough. I, okay, it's a highly detailed deal. That crosses her arms. She shrugs. <laughs> How did they yell? Three shrugs. Listen, no matter what, this is this is happening, so. Just come back out when everyone's ready. And we'll head over to the Druid okay. Circle. Okay, I need you in and I'll continue uh, basically finalizing, sealing this uh, hive on some tree. Gotta spread it everywhere, all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's big enough. It's Fucking destroying disgusting. destroying ecosystems. You, you, are, <laughs> you are the definition of an invasive species. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how well those bees are going to do. I feel like they're just not going to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not with that you, attitude. You think that Lilith <laughs> is going to, like, find them and just be like, ooh, a morsel. Numb. Ooh, a morsel. Numb. And just sit there and eat the entire hive. I'm hoping it's she's over that, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but there, we did see a lot of other spiders, and I think they've had a time advantage, a head start, if you if you will. That, mm. that being said, how much does Lavette uh, know her mother? Maybe she always liked eating bees. You know... <laughs> I do, I do like to think that there was a, like, I just imagine, like, little baby Lovette talking with her mom, turns around, and she sees, there's like a flag going through, just... I mean, it could be considered foreign delicacy in the, in the, uh, in this. In the underdark? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Ow. No. All right, fine. Just stinging all the way down. <clears throat> a fly? No, the bees. Oh, the bees. I was like, what? Anyway... Uh, and yeah, Lois is going to go into the castle before she heads back to Navardo because she figures that people are going to take some time, but uh, we don't have to We can cut to that in a bit. We, other people do stuff. I mean, Riz is probably just going to walk out of the Vardo and wait for the others to finish up in the morning. Yeah. Because um, they're ready to close down their home. Mm -hmm. So the morning rolls along, and the Vardo is closed after everyone's done with their morning business. And 
you all kind of are gathered there in front of Fuchdorf. Um, Lilith at this point has awoken and is kind of like waiting around at the, the front steps of the building, kind of sort of bidding all of you a uh, safe journey. <laughs> well, well, before we convene, I wanted to talk to my robots. Sure. My simulacrum. Um, I just... Yeah, what do you so, want? You, uh, you, you stay here, okay? And then I'm gonna come wake up my girl. Take care of stuff. And on the way back, I will talk to the Ignorant Gif. Okay. Is D. I mean, I just don't want to be useless here. Can you, can you give me some. This, uh, would you like me to do anything while I'm just hanging around here? I gesture to the cobwebs that are just all over the fucking place. There's plenty to do. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Get through it. Bye bye. Moira just kind of. Moira laughs. Is there, is there anything not work related? Uh, are you sure I can't go kill anything? Please. Mm, I know yeah. I'm. But... So what do you Moira is, at that you? point is going to grab Marcus's ear and just sort of pull him along. <laughs> Uh, Moira will will uh, probably blow Levette a kiss and uh, go about some chores. Did you like Sorry. devour that kiss? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Part of the podcast, Grim just took his arm out, like looked like he like I know. I actually, on it. I, I made a noise and I didn't realize I was muted until the mid noise. <laughs> So the two of them go about doing some housework, and Lilith will, you know, bid all of you good luck, and will scoop up Lavette into one last hug. Yeah, for Mama. Adorable. Hi. Uh, and then I will give us all a teleport pad. Uh, once I. I think we have to go to the Druid Circle. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, all right. <laughs> so destination is going to be the Druid Circle of Bill. Mm-hmm. Yep. All righty. Not too bad then. So from Fuchsdorf Castle to the Great Vale, it's not a very long distance. So can I get a roll from Vera to get there quicker than normal? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna take okay. my sweet ass time. <laughs> take your sweet ass. Right, that's fair. Like you, you can like it's gonna be default time, but it's not gonna be faster than normal. <laughs> like oh, I I took the wrong road, guys. Oops, we ended up in Brockhagen. Uh, uh, there, there's kind of this log in front of it, and Riz just in the back like disintegrates it. Okay, we're good. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine there's like this green beam of light in the sky and we're traveling across it at normal walking speed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, so within a short amount of time you guys make the 50 mile trek into the Great Vale. So that'll put you there about about a, uh, eight hours later, we'll say. Okay. Not even, probably. Six. All right, so you get there in the afternoon of the 15th, and you arrive in the Great Vale at the Druid Circle. All righty. The town of um, Melliferans that live here greet you all warmly. I'll go get my horse. Hmm. Your horse looks at you, blinks twice. I blink twice at him. Right, I was Your ready. horse. <laughs> <clears throat> Your horse uh, will snort and then look over at Vera as she says, "Are we all ready?" Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. And Grizz will guide the horse and Vardo to the Druid Circle. All right. So you guys lump in there, and uh, oof, here we go. So, what's the destination? So, based on what Vera knows, the closest one would probably be the one near Curla's village. Pollyanna? Okay. 
Gotcha. Right? Okay. Did I the see red it? forest gate. Yeah, the probably on it. Probably on it. Yeah. yeah. That would be the closest one that Vera can think of, right? Okay. That makes sense to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Give me a level check. A level check? Yeah. Either that or going to level. Parthenay again. Ew. <laughs> I know, right? Who goes to Yuck. Parthenay? We had such Yuck. a bad experience last time we were there. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a whole campaign planned in Parthenay. Woo! Season four! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be Look, great. That's where we got to have our first encounter with fish spaghetti. It's true. It's the, it's the home of fish spaghetti. Uh, where do we do... This is some... Um... Mom's fish spaghetti. Oh, uh, it's just a d20 plus your level. It's fine. I'll take a wisdom check, too, if you want to do that. It doesn't really matter to me. Is it faster to, than typing in stuff? Boom. Boom. Look at that. All right. Well, Vera, you lay your hands on this, uh, on these stones of the, of the, lith or the, the, <clears throat> the litho gate here. And the entire thing pulses with life. You feel the ley lines of the world. And within a moment, you feel yourself displacing the space here with the space there. And in a whirl of wind and mist, you find yourself in the Red Forest. Didn't we just leave this party? Uh, well, technically. Yeah. Yes. You didn't know that we had to be here all the time. Isn't that how it goes, right? We uh, leave a place and then we have to come back right to where we were. <laughs> With uh, your one you friend, always forget the, your keys. the 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 killer lady. Ah, uh, what? Me? No, no, no. She had black hair. Uh, killer uh, lady. Um, we. Siva. That's her name. Yes. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I couldn't mm -hmm. remember like anything other than she was like a questionable individual. I, I mean, I'm not sure if I would identify her as like key out so much as a, a well there was another word you used but I couldn't remember it so I, I thought that was synonym enough I, I, I mean we got it across I mean, what is it exactly that she did for a living I was never fully clear on that oh you know she's just in charge of some people who, you know sometimes take stuff by a, uh, a place it means so some sort of what thievery protection racket type thing. Uh, I mean, you know, the works that put the protections and the seaplane. I don't, I don't think it's a big metal as a thing. But I mean, what sort of style of day? And, you know, I stopped asking questions. I was like, okay, yeah, uh, best really? is not to ask questions. Like I didn't want to make enemies with, with the person that I find was idiot to so I didn't bother. Soul seemed to like them so. I guess they were they were okay. All but, right. <coughs> that's an interesting metal, Petra. I I really not... like so is a bell, but I don't know if that's a a good baseline to follow. I was gonna say not to speak ill of your friend. I mean, just given everything that you've said about them, were they necessarily the best judge of character? Well, I would just say as a rule. You know, yes. don't decide yes, whether were. or not you, you trust someone because somebody else didn't. Make that judgment for your save. Yeah, I was going person. to say, I, I don't know this person, so I'll stay neutral. That's fair. <laughs> so, um, Vera, are you ready to lead us? Yeah, Vera will pull out a map and it's gonna mm -hmm. look over it. Just to get uh, their bearings for where they are in Burgos. Sure. And then, let's say, all right, just just follow me. All right. All right. It's gonna be yeah. a long trip. Just... Okay. Of course. All right. So laying in a course to Pinterest Estate. So then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And so it's about a 13 day travel from here. Oh, not the worst, actually. Not the worst yeah. you've done. <clears throat> no, true. you've done way, way worse than that. Season yeah, 13 one. And a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, 13 and a half days by road, thereabout, to get there. So, anything on that trip that you all want to accomplish? Or shall I just zip through it? One evening, I would like to talk to Levet briefly. Oh, okay. okay. So, a couple days in? Yeah, a couple days in. I I'd say, like, around the five-day mark, if that's okay. cool. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. All right, so on the 19th of September, uh, that evening, you find yourself in the Vardo. Um, <clears throat> Lovette, when you Always so. have a moment, um, could we talk in that little place of yours? Pull up my little box. Yo. Yes, but in your room. Why, sure. I put the moment down. Good to know. Let's uh, let let's go do that. <laughs> and they'll they'll just stand outside your door for a moment because they're not gonna like go in without you. And then they'll go in after you. Sally's a clean, not cleaning it in with my room. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's just the way I look, I think about things, so I... You think of <laughs> things in grids? Yeah. Huh. It's an it's a engineering thing. It's totally out of my line of work, so I will take your word for it. I um, started doing it when I started fighting things. I had to figure... I just kind of think of everything in five foot... Anyway. All right. Um, cube time, though, yes? press the button and the door of throw on the ground the door pops up open it up after you and Rizzo walk in Which technically takes a teleport so I'll cast it pocket dimension inside a pocket dimension right how we haven't made we're, a black hole black, I don't know yeah. you guys I know are we're like a like here. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> so you find yourselves in Levette's pocket dimension yes so, I have a favor to ask. Oh? Does the door close? Is that the thing that happens for this? I don't... It's is this closed. a door? Or is it... <laughs> I don't... Paint me a picture. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when you walk in, the door closes and, and like, completely collapses. Okay, okay. Um... <laughs> and and Riz kind of hesitates for a moment and then they look at you do you remember when you had that thing when um it was like a bite on your neck but both people had it yeah the, the empathy connect else could we try that girls I'll, I'll cast uh, pack empathy, pull them out, hand you one. And Rizzle kind of try to do it and then shrug and kneel down again. I'm sorry, it's just a weird place for me. Could you? Yeah, it's okay. You have a lot of hell to work. So. I do, I do, I do. It's like, okay, here yeah, so comes the clamp. Yep. Mm. Ah, that part does not get normal. Yes. No, yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's um. Right. So, as a flatline, you have that neutral feeling you experienced last time. And then they take a deep breath. And you feel that, like, whatever emotional guard they had up before is slowly melting away. And you're getting this immense sense of guilt. You okay? It's long. I know it was good enough for what I did with your mother, but it wasn't for me. Okay. And I, I don't know how to make it better in the current sense that it is. Um, 
but I would like to try again when I'm stronger. Okay. But I'm but sorry I wasn't good enough. Oh, I mean, I can I can tell right now. I can feel enough to know that I can't just say, "Oh, you well," and it will sink in like that. And I I think I I felt this way before. So I understand, but um, I I don't I. It was the first step forward in a long time, so it's a very positive moment for me. And uh, but I just just don't rush it. I think she will be okay, and I uh, I've learned when you feel like you've not good done good enough. When you've done something better than nothing, but it doesn't feel like enough, and you try to push it out of to make things perfect, and okay. it just kind of collapse. Riz, um, yeah. I'm sorry. Could you make a wisdom che check for me, please? Oh, okay, sure. That's weird. All right, it's not my best. <laughs> now one baby. Oh. Ooh. oh. Six. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Continue what you're doing. Oh. Can you, you reroll that? <laughs> can I reroll that? No. No, oh, I didn't think so. No. I, I didn't think you'd let me use my fate points since I don't know about it. And just kind of blinks for a moment. Love it. I. And you're you're getting a, a swarm of complicated emotions, which just has it going through a bunch at a time. There is no set emotion there at curly, currently, where it's more like a tempest of confusion almost, based on how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. I just uh... okay. I, I'm I have a feeling Is this too much? I am not no, used to. I just want to know what's going on. I have another favor to ask. Okay. I know you probably already think this way. And I don't feel like I have been very good at it. Um, but I would, uh, I would like to learn how to to be a friend. I specifically would like to be your friend, and you probably already think it's fine, but I don't know how to people. Really? I'm, I, I know how to get money out of them, but... No, I mean, you want to be my friend? Don't make me say it again, it's embarrassing. I'm sorry, it's just I think this is the first time anyone's ever said that to me, except I guess my life. Is that an... I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yes, I want to be your friend, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I mean, I would like to be your friend. Okay, good. How do I do that <laughs> properly? Oh, you've been doing a great job of it already. I tell you, it's keep saving my life. That is that <laughs> helps a lot. But there has to be more to it. Uh, people hold such significance to it. There has to be more, right? I mean, I guess really, as long as I feel like you more or less want me to keep existing, that, that that's enough for me. I, that's kind of uh, the baseline in my opinion. All right. If you if you can see someone using to yourself, I'm glad that person exists. But it's not that's enough. I believe you do after that will just kind of come naturally. I think I don't know. Friendship has never been my <laughs> field of study either. Well, this is real for someone to come to me for it. You, you and me both then, because. Uh, well, okay, 
It was actually technically... I did try to study it when I was a child. Oh, uh, bless your heart. It didn't look like a good result. <laughs> well... <laughs> um... I'm sorry I did not originally, but... I um, yeah, this will heal. Yes, yes, um... Is there any case on? Do I bother you? No. Not even when I'm... Just doing things, cause... I do things... On my own. That's it. That doesn't sound like a time it should puzzle me at all. Why would that puzzle me? You can do your things without it being my business. I just don't understand some people, I guess. And I'm just trying to... Okay, I, I kind of feel like I think I might know what else, what this might... Not what this is about, I, I, I can tell you're being genuine, but I see what you're saying. I mean, no, I don't mind. It doesn't really matter to me. I would hope you don't like, leave completely. Uh, I, would be, I mean, I know you plan to, but I hope there is all that changes or I have a chance to, to stick around. I guess, um... I used to consider it. I just know it's how I am. I, I will leave eventually, but... I've never been stuck like this. And You're everything stuck? feels different. It's hard to explain, it's just... I feel like I have to be here. Yeah. And I want to make sure that this world will not go away, you know? Because... Just... Core of my soul, I, I cannot let that happen, yes, but... But there's so many things happening where I'm sort of learning about myself and... Sort of not, and it's weird, because part of me wants to not care, and part of me is an entirely too curious, because I, it's, it is being mortal, yes? You, you are curious about things that involve uh, yourself. M many people are uh, central-focused, yes? It's, it is your world, in a way. Right? Yeah, I mean, I think that... Being curious more often yields good results and, and not caring. Okay, okay, you can't care about everything all the time. I don't. I don't feel good. Oh. Okay. Like, they all the time I did care, worry about everything all the time. Really felt like everything was on my shoulders. And uh, they all went wrong. And I spent a few years feeling like I, I just screwed up everyone's lives. Grizz kind of hesitates for a moment, and you you feel that they're unsure. And then they kneel down, and they put a hand on your shoulder. If you feel this way again, I would like to attempt to carry the burden on my shoulders with you. Well, I appreciate that, but, um, well, it's well, this is headed. If we will sit by sign buildings, is it on? I don't, I don't know where else it's going to end up. It historically ends up bad every time, so, uh, there might be some sacrifices involved. How's Levette feeling when she's describing that? Pretty scared, actually. Do you feel like fear? Fear and regret. Um. They, they're not sure what to do, so they just kind of like slowly 
move, and it looks very awkward, but they, they kind of slowly give you a hug. It, it, it's it's kind of like one of those, like, at first unsure hugs, and then it, it slowly, like, rests into itself. Yeah, I'll hug back pretty, pretty firmly. I don't know where my road will lead either. But you will do an amazing thing. Okay? Okay. I'll trust you, Tita. Even if our roads diverge sometime. Yeah. I think it will be okay. Um, <clears throat> and, and Riz kind of wipes their eyes for a second. But, uh... <laughs> In other news, um, you were curious about Voska the other day, and I was wondering if you wanted to um, ever yeah, go so we need to now. T talk about that a bit more. I feel it feels more to say. I would love to. I I am kind of not sure how much there is to talk about these things because Val turns her whole religion into like two sentences, and I didn't know if that's just a standout. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like That's... what do you do to worship your miracle? And she's like, be part of the high, treat everyone simply. What the fuck do you want? Cook. That's it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I am so screwed. Okay. Um, good to know. Good to know. That's how it's normally presented. Um... I mean, of course, wheels a lot more clothes when I grow up with Shemish, but Shemish really likes clothes, so that's kind of an exception to it. Counteracts you. Yeah, I'll take you. But travel is fun. At least, uh, I think it is with all of you for the most part. Some days are bad, some days are good. Yes, Anyways, um, I was just going to say if if um, you ever wanted to talk to him, I could try to bridge that little thing. Where, uh, really? I try to personally talk to him and Wait, if I put can an... also be talk to them? I can personally like talk to all of them. Really? I kind of thought he was like a one way street. Well it... I haven't held him talk to you, so I didn't know. It's kind of different for me. That's incredible. I, I don't know why, it's just, that's how it's all you've been. Always I can, been. I mean, yeah, I would probably be, I would, I can understand why you would be very attached to them. Up to you, fully be. I mean, like, there are some who just don't really talk, but I just... I feel like I understand them even when they're not talking. It's like a... It's like... A, a drum beat. And I can feel it outside mm -hmm. but i can also feel it in here and it's like mine starts to match that beat and then i just kind of know please that sounds like you might be somebody really important <laughs> they, they, they just look at you like <laughs> come on i don't know that sounds big i don't feel a heartbeat connection with the guts I didn't know. I wasn't sure they were real for some time. They are my family. I, yeah. I mean, I can feel that. They are so important to me, so... It brings me joy that you have interest, but I am not going to force this on you. I just knew you had curiosity and I wanted to aid... If I could. I have a lot of questions, I think. I don't really know how to phrase them, but they... I am curious, yes, I would have to do that. Can you talk you... to me? Is this possible? Probably. Uh, would, would you like to formulate your questions first before I talk to him? And there is a chance it could not work also. I'd... Sometimes I, I, I can't concentrate, right? I guess I just want to know why, why I had to bail my hand off. And Riz looks at their hand and you get this washed sense of guilt again. Oh, oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you... Um. Yes. It was amazing what you did. 
uh, I'm, I mean, it felt like crazy. I you just get, did it because I had to. You get a peak of jealousy. Just real quick. <laughs> just like anxiety coming back from all these emotions. <laughs> like, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> it's like, this is why you don't let Riz not be neutral. <laughs> Uh, you realize there's sorry. no door. <laughs> there is no I didn't door. Know, I didn't realize this was important to you like that. I thought that I was I useless. Mean, like Are you kidding me? No, I mean like my specialty, my family. I couldn't accomplish any of those rooms. I can understand. I, I could have not I... been there, and you all I... would have been fine. You know, from my perspective, I just thought that they were trying to avoid bias. It's very okay, sweet yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought because you're friends with him, I thought he had to... I mean, me and cheat. Harris are on the outs right now. I really gotta fix that at some point. Do you? Do you? I don't know. I don't... I feel like... I mean, the, is it... Is that a big one? Because you're kind of like not doing him a solid in this whole operation, are you? I mean, he still helps me. I, a lot of my um <clears throat> stronger power is uh, helped by him. Um, so I really gotta kind of pay it back and ask a couple of questions of a question I have been worried about. To start getting this like anxiety slash fear from a vet. Like, uh, if I build, build my thing and it sucks out the others in necromancy from the world and he like hates me for that, are you are we still going to be friends? Oh yeah. People <laughs> still die. Okay. Lovet. They are my family. But our actions have to happen. So this world can keep thriving. This cannot happen if the world is dead. I this... mean, I, I call yes. So it is okay. There are some things that I irritate him with, but I irritate the others with other things. Like Prenia. <laughs> I'm not really good at the nice thing. What? Wait, what is you upset Prenia is? It's just, you know, Prania is like about love and fluffery things and kindness. And that's wonderful, like if you're feeling like it. Wait, isn't us being friends like a, a, that kind of thing? <sighs> I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, you know, I feel well. Look, I'm closer to some than others and. It wavers. It's like, um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even care if I'm, like, fully on the outs as long as they... They're still around, in a way. Yeah, I understand that. I felt the same way about my heart. They nod. But... Let's try with Voska. Yes? We'll see if I can get this to work. If not, I'll just say, hey, I'll try another day, buddy. Catch you yeah, later. Sure. Sorry about failing your test. <laughs> Anyways, um, Riz is gonna just kind of take Levette's hands and their emotions are starting to flat out a little as it seems like they're starting to control their emotions more and trying to neutralize them again. Meanwhile, well, I just feel more and more guilty. <laughs> like, oh god. Um, Riz will probably be trying to push calm <laughs> towards Levette to kind of help mm. their their own sereneness, uh, and they are going to use some fate points to attempt to contact Voska. All right, how many? Uh, since I want to be able to connect Levette with this, I'm gonna try for seven. Okay. All right, go ahead and burn those. 
Okay. And you focus for a moment, and you feel heat come from nearby. Like, you look over to your side, and you see there, there's a forge there that wasn't there a moment ago. This is like sitting in the room with the two of you, and it's just belting out like intense heat. I feel it. <laughs> the coals and embers inside just pulsate with this glowing red hot quality. I thought you like I can do that. I did. Wait, what? Did it work? You can see it? I can uh can I? Uh yeah, yeah, you can see it as well. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good, good. That worked. <laughs> the, a sense of relief shoots through you from this. Voska. <clears throat> you get a sense that whatever has whatever you've contacted can hear you, but you don't hear anything back. That's okay. Um, Levet is a little curious about you, and I wanted to connect you a little bit more past the trial that they undertook recently in, uh, was that place still Proto? <laughs> Just yeah. look over at Levet, like, I don't know. In the whole Proto, technically. In Proto. Um, with the coals and the burning hand and the... Yeah, they were curious about you. Um, could you share some of your warmth? The forge... The bellows on the side of the forge pump a few times and the room becomes swelteringly hot. Oh no, <laughs> that's gonna burn me all alive! Riz looks completely comfortable in this situation. <laughs> Though the two of you are sweating. But... Oh yeah, they're sweating, but they look very confident. Take mm -hmm. off my jacket. <laughs> With top hat. Would you like to say anything, Lovett? I thought I'd speak to this. It's just, I don't know how this works. I just wanted to know I, I, what did, what's a testament? I had to bear my hand and said... If it means anything, and uh, I just wanted to know well about the, if, if if I can get your blessing when I build it. Oh, I don't, I don't mean to make requests. I don't know how this works. You feel the temperature from the forge drop away. But the room still, you can still see heat line, like you can see heat emanating off of this forge. But the, the, the actual feeling of the heat dulls a little bit. Like the room becomes more comfortable even though this thing is still here belting out pure heat. And you hear a voice carried through the air. I had to know that whoever was going to open that door, was willing to give up their ability to create. I don't know that they would have stopped creating if I didn't have a hand. I don't know that they would have made me... I don't... Like, should I not say that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you just feel a, a, a humor, a tickle of humor <laughs> from Riz as they're smiling behind you. <laughs> well, Super Jimmy's just like, oh. okay, I think that's just a good sign. I think you are in good company if you cannot stop creating, but we're willing to at least hamper that ability. I mean, there would have been a little trial there, we just don't. I thought to make a new hand. <laughs> it's just like peace and here's a hand. And, and Riz kind of looks towards the furnace. As you can see, that would not stop them in a wonderful way. You get a sense that it is pleased to hear that. And okay. 
You get this overwhelming sense of pride as Rose is looking at you, Levette. This is really strange for me. I don't know what to feel about this. Not had the attention of a god before. <laughs> at least not related, without it being related to like a group mission. This is just the uh, you and him. I am just simply a mediator in this moment. Ah. Stop. Is there something? Is there a marking I could put on my my work to to invoke your blessing or something? You see on the forge itself a a symbol etches itself into the forge, and it's the holy symbol of Bosca which is two hands holding a starburst. Oh, okay. I was not with it. I can... I'm actually fitting a lot better than what I was thinking it was going to be. It's uh, a beautiful symbol. Yeah. Whoever well, created it must have been pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree. That is, this is a pretty good design. It's a pretty good. That is a genius. Mm -hmm. Big brain, you know. Big brain energy. So that voice wafts through the room again from the forge. Lavette, your creations are inspired. But you can accomplish so much more. I'm watching you. And uh, Rizzle kind of bow to the furnace. Do you know if I can build it with the, the siphon that it will milk? If I can do it? If you trust in yourself. I believe you can build anything. Probably should be a proud moment, but honestly, I think that's a big moment of anxiety. It's like trusting <laughs> yourself with like the one qualifier Levette's not ready for. Yep. It's uh, the beauty of it. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. It was the room good to goes. Hear. The room goes completely dark, and then all of the normal lights that were in the, the workspace mm. come back, and the forge is gone. Ugh, it feels like a hug, doesn't it? <laughs> a, a really well hug, yes. Yeah, well, it was a good one. Put the jacket back on. <laughs> yeah. It was him! That and was, you could hear I him! Yes. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, I am so proud of you. You still processing this. <laughs> what does it mean? You have his blessing. I mean, that's good, I think. What does that mean? I mean, you literally just asked if you could worship him by adding his symbol to things. Oh, uh, so, yes. I wish I wanted to do that, I feel like. I would like to, I would like more people to, to have a spirit of creation. I feel like we focus too much on destruction. Oh, Riz is just filled with joy and they just kind of scoop you up and like do that like swing hug where they twirl in a circle yeah. and your legs kind of go out a little. <laughs> <laughs> and they oh, set you down back. and they just look pleased at you. <laughs> just had like frantically flapping wings. <gasps> Sorry, sorry, I, I just got a little excited. No, it's okay. I'm I am i I'm glad you're excited. I'm just you guys have been processing this. This is a very weird thing for me. The gods were something I didn't think about much and now I now I have the very hour of one. I, I mean I think about them all the time, so it's a good thing yeah. you found me, huh? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I really though. I don't think I could have passed that that test if I did not know you. 
I think you would have. Oh well, yeah, I don't know, but I but I'm still yeah, I know you. I don't think I'll be ill. I mean I wouldn't have because I would be probably in that slimes digest our system. <laughs> oh, oh the other slimes digest our system. Yeah, the Travian told he would have gotten you out of there. Petravian! I remember leaving as I was getting eaten by one of them. That was like the last thing I saw before everything was just pain. Yikes. Alright, um... That's a lot. Yeah, sorry, I forgot the thing was still on. I try not to think about stuff that happened. Hmm. That's all I can really do. I don't got much reference otherwise. <laughs> but I try to live in the future, not the uh, yeah. past. Though it would be fun to learn. It's not my habit. You know what? The old past, you mean? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes. I think we were. I have not given up. I don't... It is kind of a very complex puzzle to tackle. It is I have no true. idea where to really even start. Well, um... We'll figure it out. Maybe. And if not, at least there will be a world that's not dead, so... Have you figured out the whole money to raise the thing? Not at all. Have you... have you tried... Not having the, any money, because you know. Well, I'm kind of working towards not having money. Okay, but I mean, it's better to Just spend it in place things that you support. So much money. despair and hurt. Yeah. For that. <laughs> I'm just like trying to like cover, like make it go away. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, you could. That's fine. It's a good thing that you're giving it to people rather than just throwing it away. Yeah, I am trying to contribute, but I'm also kind of saving it for something. Yeah, okay. I... I understand. And that's what you've been doing this whole time? Yeah, but they're actually gonna use it. <laughs> Not just hoard it <laughs> like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... I'll figure it out, it's fine. <laughs> just, just, you're playing L.A. Noir now. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just the random constipation faces. <laughs> well, um, that's all I wanted to do was kind of. Introduce you to Voska, kind of say, hey, do you want to be friends? And, um... We really clear to have friends. Me too. I, I will I try. Don't... I am not perfect. But I am better than Petravian. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I say as you feel me, like, definitely being like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! What happened? Oh no! What happened? <laughs> we killed your video. Yeah. Oh, the timing there was perfect. It man. was. Wow! Oh like, right, Scurry's okay. done with this shit. Oh, no. Four oh four, Scurry not found. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! No. I'm sorry. Did we fix that? <laughs> <laughs> the Dravian's face gets put in. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed for the night. Uh, here is your. Uh, and they they kneel down again. I cannot reach this for shit. <laughs> Here's the stuff. You're a, you're a machine. I don't want to waste your uh, pieces. Pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels weird. All right. Was it? I just... Mine is just part of me. They look very <laughs> concerned at you, but just kind of nod. Uh, I mean, like, I think I mentioned before, but Levette has, like, an external robotic spine. That I don't like think Riz the has arms attached it to. Early. Probably have seen it, but not up close. Yeah. But yeah. Take the chip. Gross. <laughs> Ew. That's what the wings it's are attached disgusting. to. Um. Good 
talk. I'm gonna go to bed now. And Rose just oh. leaves. <laughs> they, they like look for the, the door in the cube and they're like, how do I make this? Snap my fingers in the door. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful <laughs> night, Levette. Have fun creating things. I will talk to you another day. Okay, bye bye. Somehow I'm glad that they didn't, I didn't hear that last bell. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And Riz just goes uh, to sleep for the night. Somewhere, somehow, part of the curse has begun to crack. Anyway. Ex fucking excuse me. <laughs> oh, just going to pass right by that. Anyone else uh, have anything else to do? Was it the yeah, friends we made um... along the way? <laughs> Shut the During fuck up, it's not friendship is magic. Fuck you. <laughs> During the trip, um, Petravian would find, come to Levette's door and knock. Cause, you know, mm -hmm. Same know. night or different night? Eh, just some uh, within like the first walk. couple of days on the trip. Okay. okay. So. Call this the 20th then. Just say it so it's like after, I guess, because otherwise we could have continuity. Yeah, it would be errors. after. It was. It would be after. Okay. Oh, what was? What's going on, Petrovian? Well, you did a, such a magnificent job on Little Top Hat. I was wondering if you could help me with another little project. That's what I was going to work on on Journey Travel. But I have time. Sorry, I. Just go. Hummel. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. During com dur when we're fighting and Chittlesel happens to be with us, I notice sometimes when he connects, he doesn't really connect with his antlers. It just seems to not do as much as you'd think it would. Oh, that's about it. Does it have more than I would think an elk would do it against the other stuff we fight? Well, yeah, but we find a lot. We find a lot of things that are magical, and I'm yeah, wondering. I know you put. Elk. Things well, yeah, but he's not magical. So I was wondering no, if it was so I was possible. To do that. Well, I was. I know you put things inside your gauntlet, and that helps mm -hmm. Archie's uh, fists become connect better, connect with magical things. And with I was wondering plates. if you could make some make a. Wait, you want to put them? I put some some blades on his crowns already. You want this to be permanent? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Um, Riz just on their bed staring at you too. Do you? Have you I think got, I have some, I've heard of something called an, um, an amulet of magic of magical fists. I think it was called a mighty fists amulet of mighty fists. And I think it might help. Have you got uh, the funds for this on your person? I do. Okay. I do. What do you mind? I mean, I can. How long? How much is it? Eight thousand. Eight thousand for for you. And yeah. And how long did we say this travel was? I think he said fourteen days, sixteen days. Uh, sorry. the The travel is going to be thirteen and a half days, and you're already six days into it. Oh, so okay. we'd have to... Damn. Okay. Oh, that would... Yeah. Well, I didn't start working on it, sure. I have to finish... I kind of got distracted. I, I took a few days off, but I need to... I have other projects okay. to help. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's... I got the money, I got the funds whenever you're available to get started. It's just they probably won't be ready by the time we show up at the... That plus. Of course... We won't need it now, because we won't be... Exactly, know, we won't be fighting, be so it's yes. fine. Also, because I think that's probably a great idea, if Jesus stays where well, he's at, just because, yeah. like, it, we don't need it to get him cut off, unless, you know, the thing that we're not supposed to be doing... He, he's useful, isn't he? he, he he's I'm not saying boy. he's not useful. I'm just saying, like, it's... It just gets cut out of where I can go. The same yeah. issue has been with Archibald this way. But Archibald can kind of make indoors become outdoors. <laughs> yeah, that's a good times. Okay, cool. Um, when you when you're able to, 
like to yeah, get so that. Let's get, get, get that. Well. Awesome. Thank you so much. So game terms on that, just so you know, uh, mm -hmm. required for the plus two variant. I'm guessing it was speaking mm -hmm. one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Eight thousand gold to craft, and that requires craft wondrous item, greater magic fang. Yep. Cool. Which I'm pretty sure all right. that has that spell, right? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm saying yeah. I think I think all bases Basically are covered on that. So that's good. Yep. I made sure of that before I asked. Nice. Wow. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Well, then that shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult to too. to put together. Okay. Anyways. So, anything else that you'd like to accomplish on the trip? You reminded me. I, I think it's. I'm going to spend a, a evening building Hummel a new body. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Go on. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. Uh, if, if I'm gonna see if Hummel will, is as willing to uh, join me in my cube, so they give me specs on that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In yeah. my <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I, I am going to. I can try and build you a new body. I mean, you should in theory work the same as building anyone else is in your com. If uh, nothing else, I could at least build a copy of Vera. I mean, as long as they're okay with that. Like, I I don't know what I'd want. You know, like I I maybe something in the middle, like guy girl just like visually because some people have different cool. preferences i can try that wait can uh, i can i still use my spells when i'm in there um you can use some of the spells you know it uh in order for me to build space for you to upright it it's not going to be all, all it's there in the head department so unfortunately some of them about the some of the more advanced things are gone not going to be possible. Well, I think it would be weird if you just made a robot of Vera, definitely. So I would also not do that. I would don't play. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Let's not do that one. That'd be yeah. I just it's just a uh, an option. But now that I've said it, I don't really want to do that. Well, so do we need to do research, like to find out what what would the best between. Mm -hmm. Every hot person I've ever seen. You can do that research. I mean, I could help you with some of it, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, when it came to Malchus, I just found I just got some uh, see some uh, flexible material. Just kind of cut it off real quick, see it on there. Didn't have a lot of time to think about it. So uh, it doesn't like. If you want something a little more functional. <laughs> so you're gonna have to do the laser on that. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I really I don't know. I, I understand it's from a scientific standpoint, but I don't really see the use in, in dwelling on certain, certain Wait, like, parts. Wait, like, can I, can I still talk? Or not talk, can I still touch things and feel things? Yeah. I play the violin. <laughs> Marcus just. I play the violin. Put together with spit and spackle. Well, well, I guess if you can. I guess you can at least start, right? Like, we don't need the final details on what it looks like until we're ready, right? Yeah, this is cool. I can at least work on the skeleton and such. I'm so excited. Did we tell Betravian yet? Nope. I don't. Think so? I didn't Shh, know that. No, no, we'll keep it a secret for now, and then we can surprise him later. Okay. I love this plan. I'm fine with it. It's your decision. It's your body, not his. I, I have to do some research. All right, Disgusting. yeah. Fine. <laughs> There's no place to do it, so I make the door come back. Let the bee out. I like. I like. I all right, lay yourself out. out. And then it's like, all right, you can't open doors. You are a bee. It was like that. Um, <laughs> we clearly just saw it happen. Yeah. So I mean, as far as mechanically goes, that can be done overnight. But if you if if Zeno needs to think about like or or and you know whatever, if there's if 
there's a reason we need to wait out of character, then Levette can take her time with this. Oh, I'd have to think about what it would look like, so. Um, and I also need to know, like, how much HP Hummel has and stuff, because that's that determines how expensive it is. Okay. Uh, I... Or what level they are, I think. I just... But yeah, anyway. Okay, I can tell you that. My HP would be... Dun, dun, dun! Bum, bum, bum! Bum, bum, bum! Right. 128 divided by 2. That's a number. Uh, 64. 64. Yep. Yeah. Um, what, what is, what, what's that level? That's actually, it's the hit dice was the, the, the number I was looking for. And, unless you're looking for actual uh, Hummel, like the Hummel Flug stats, yeah. in which case. Hummel Flug uh, is the last 16 I was looking character. For. Okay. So. Because yeah, that would be uh, 130. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Evening talks are fun. Hi. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Is that all we have for yeah. so, evening yep. talkies? So we'll, yeah, so. we'll be thinking about hot, hot boys. God. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course, Hummel would think as that. As if that's not what Hummel's always thinking about. Uh, yeah. yeah. About the magazines. Vera thinks about um, bees. Hummel thinks about hot boys. Hummel is expensive as shit. <laughs> <laughs> as they I didn't should. Know they, they were such a high level. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. I'm like, oh, you better front this money. I'm like, what the bee? The bee is gonna front the money? Nope. This is your idea, fucker. <laughs> Listen, if if Levette can't do it, Vera already had a plan for fixing this stuff, so that's up to you. Oh, I can. It's not like infeasibly expensive. It's just a, it's just like eight times what I thought it was so gonna are, be. Just to make sure, are we talking about like a simulacrum super expensive to repair body? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh buddy. Okay. It's not necessarily this isn't with a lifetime warranty. <laughs> This is just obviously. <laughs> this is just look. I, you've been a bee for a while. I figure rather than having to switch bodies, maybe you can have this. <laughs> Make Joel, sure would no this one be like bites your dick. The... Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> would, would, wow. would would Hummel fly in the ear and just start operating it like a mech? Yeah. yeah, that's why. That's where I came up with the idea was because that's what they already did. Wait, oh, wait, they, they're not operating like a mech though, are they? <laughs> Because oh, I imagine oh. it like Ratatouille with the brain. You just <laughs> pull out some noodles and start making it around. Because you said that Hummel could touch and feel things. I don't think they could touch and feel things in that way then. <laughs> <laughs> they No, no, no. They, they, they plug in like the freaking Matrix. Oh, man. I assume that's just how bees work. If they touch your brain, they can feel your thoughts, right? Is that how that works? Uh, yeah. You're the bee expert. Work. You tell me. I'd have to look oh, at my books. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't get to that bee chapter yet. Bee on brain. I, I, just I can't do this. I can't do an entomology lesson today. I could. No. Last page. <laughs> I touch your brain, they can feel your thoughts. And then that's just the end of the book. The, the B in B stands for brain. <laughs> The E stands for everything else. <laughs> What's the other what E stand e. for? Eh, everything oh. else. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. Well. well. <laughs> anyone else? Yeah, I was going to say at some point on this journey, I guess maybe the next day, which is what, the 21st? Would be the 21st, yeah. Okay. Um, throughout the journey, uh, I guess during the downtime, Carilla will have been scribbling a lot in the journal that they got god knows how many episodes ago but they have been carrying around a journal and ink and an ink pen for some time and they're finally going to put it to use so they will be scribbling away in this journal at various points on the journey and finally one night um they're gonna tuck it back into their cloak they're gonna step outside of the vardo um go a little ways away um pull out some wax i guess they've still got a few candles left perhaps from palayana and they will cast Speak with Soul in an attempt to uh, have a quick chat with what remains of the spirit of their sister. I'm not going to right. I'm just waiting for her. <laughs> not good. to be competitive, but it's 
It ain't a diary until you've got at least one apocalyptic secret in there. <laughs> <laughs> you cast the spell, and the being, uh, Verla's soul, materializes to where you rather allows you to see it. And, uh, of course, she's already, like, riding on your shoulders. Hi, V. It's, uh, it's good to see you. Hi. It's been a little while, I know, since we, uh, we talked last. I know that you still been watching I talk everything. to you all the time. It's fine. I know, I know. I'm so, have I been missing anything particular that you've been trying to tell me? No, you, you pretty much get the idea. <laughs> I mean... I say, like, hey, get that bite of food next, or, like, <laughs> oh, don't forget to tie your shoe right, or, hey, you know, you, you left your, your water a little close to the edge of that table, just make sure you don't knock it over, things like that. But you're fine. I love that you're still always looking out for me, even though I'm supposed to be the elder sibling. Well, I mean, I, ha I haven't really, like, knocked over a water glass in a while, so, you know, it's, it's kind of on you. Fair point. So... You know, everything that went down with Karis and everything that went down with Lavette's mom that changes the maths a little bit on our options going forward. She kind of looks off to the side and doesn't say anything. I mean, I, I said that I would try to bring you back if that's what you wanted, but the person that I'm talking to now, that's what did we say? The echoes of my sister, you know, the, the best parts. The rest of you's with that thing, and I don't feel like him in more than one place. What they were saying was mean. I, I certainly don't disagree with that. I don't know, I'm just not sure what to do, and I'm not sure that I'd like who I'd have to thank if I were to try to bring you back. I think they're just trying to keep us apart. You might be onto something there. What would you do if I, if you wanted to come back and if I could bring you back? Well, I guess I'd grow up and probably keep trying to take care of you, you know? <laughs> you know, it was my job to keep care of you. It was my job to take care of you, you know. That, that's, that was our thing. It's a little bit weird having it reversed. Mm -hmm. Then again, I didn't do a great job of it, did I? It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I know you're telling me that. I'm, I'm working to actually feel it, internalize it a little bit. Just, just, I don't, I don't know why they were so mean before. I. I wish you could be around all the time, I'll tell you that much. I could really use your advice on quite a lot right now. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Just... I don't know. Well, I mean, you've, you've seen all the crap going down. I, I, I don't imagine you enjoyed the conversation that I had with Rez a few days ago. I, I certainly didn't. That's been the case with most of our conversations in the past few weeks. Which one and was that? What were you? Were you not paying attention for that one? I might have been. I might have been watching something else at the time. He was trying to explain how things went with Dad, and because they'd asked to know, and I think that I made matters worse. Hmm. Well. You did what you had to do to survive, and you should never be upset about that. It wasn't your fault. And if they don't understand, then they're just being mean. And I don't like it when people are mean to you. I punch uh, you. <laughs> I mean, good luck with that, but... You were always so much better with people than I was. I mean, everyone loved you. I was always just the awkward one. How would you do that? What? The... Punch she shrugs. Them. I put all my stats in charisma. <laughs> charisma build. I don't know. <laughs> I was a kid. People like kids most of the time. Right? 
Not me, but... Chris likes kids. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, other than punching, put yourself in my position, what would you do to try and... I don't know. Be better friends with all of them, not just Rez, all of them. I mean, I'm trying here, God knows I'm fucking trying, but... I'm still pretty crap at it. You'd like to think I've got a smidgen better. I don't know, well, you've been around for you've gotten. I would say you've gotten at least a smidgen and a half better. Smidgen and a half, that's generous, I mean, that's not, very much. You're not like... Like, baring teeth at people and being like, Grr, stay away from me or I'll bite you anymore. So that's good. It seemed like a good strategy at the time. I mean, it kept them all safe, didn't it? Yeah, Arguably. but I mean, it kept you alone too, and that's not good for you. Because yeah, you couldn't hear me then, and you know, you were all alone. Kind of. I mean, I was still there, but you couldn't see me or hear me. So It's kind of the yeah. same as being alone, I guess. At least alone for you. I wasn't alone. You get it. I get yeah. it. I get it, V. I, I get it. I don't really want to be alone anymore, but I'm not quite sure how to not be. <laughs> Feels ridiculous asking, you know, trying to get your advice on this, but... I don't know. Well, if you... If you decide to... Go through with things, then you wouldn't be alone anymore. Ever. I'd be with that's, you all the time. That's a fair point. Also against the world, right? It always was just you and I, so... Mm-hmm. That's... It's a tempting thought. Well, I've got things i got to do first, though. I mean, not yeah. powerful enough yet to even... Or Attempt it, let alone, that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, saving the world. We'd not, yeah, not wouldn't be much good bringing you back into a world that was still completely fucked. Mm -hmm. So go, unmess up the world first, okay? Mum and Dad aren't around. You can say fucked. It's all right. Uh... We've got the explicit rating. <laughs> Just, I'm with you, okay? It's nice to know that one person has I. I... Thanks, Faye. You always know what to say. She gives you a hug around the head, and you, again, get that weird cold sensation. I'll try and pat, but probably, obviously, fail. Yeah. Because weird spirit ghost thing. And then, uh, if that is the end of your conversation, she will fade away. Carla will take another couple of laps around the uh, the Varda. They've been walking this whole time. It's just sort mm -hmm. of big old perimeter ring around the Varda. But they will uh, take a couple more laps and then head back inside. Alrighty. So, how far are we uh, so far on our travel? So far on your travels, uh, you guys have gone six days or so. Seven days, maybe? I think it's seven if it's the 21st. It's seven. Yeah, it's seven days. So you've got a few more days. Anything else you want to accomplish on that, or shall I just zoom ahead? How's Vera doing? Well, Vera has been basically sunk in, like, on themselves. Like, pretty much any time that Vera has been going towards a location that she doesn't want to. Uh, but her hood is up, and her ears look strangely long oh <laughs> did she use that that many faces thing yep oh shit you hiding you hiding <laughs> what the fuck I think Riz would only probably give you a, an eyebrow raise when they first noticed it but wouldn't bring attention to it mm -hmm. like, they gonna respect your space yeah they're, they're basically it's completely down, very much covering, like, shadowing the face quite a bit. So it's hard to get a full-on look. Okay. That's about it, though? Yep. Okay. I think we can zoom ahead otherwise. Yeah, everyone? 
Uh, anyone else got anything? No, we're good. Petravian? All right. Um, you good? Yeah, so I'm going to zoom us ahead good, then yeah. to the 27th of September. Petravian Which keep trying to approach Vera, but just... Chickens out? Knowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they know they, they know they need to do this, but... We, we, I really feel really shitty about making them do it, but we really have to do it. And it's like that reaching out, like, and chicken out, like a little <laughs> wuss. Still bridge, everybody. Uh, uh, so how many days? Uh, when, when, what was the start? The <laughs> 27th is when we end. When did we start? 13 days before that. Uh, we okay. started today okay. on the 15th. Uh, then I could actually build Petra's thing. So if you, start, if you started from the beginning, I guess, yeah. Well, if I started from the 15th to... Okay. Yeah. If it, it's so, only going to take eight days, so... Yeah. I think he didn't talk to you until the 20th, but it doesn't matter. Oh. That's, that's, that's fine. We can, we can backdate it. It's not that big of a deal. Woo. Okay, so... Drop some ducats. The 27th... I mean, if I Ten, ah, you, you can go ahead and finish it. Uh, that'll get you to the 27th of September, and you guys have now crossed through the northern bits of Kodre, past a couple of cities, uh, specifically that of uh, Calibriga and Cassicus, and have now moved on into Burgos proper. Um, so Burgos is a bit of an interesting place. Um, you cross a really big river uh, with a really large suspension bridge going across it that leads into a big city called Orden and then from there you've kind of veered off into the countryside to the north of that and you have found yourselves approaching a city so my question is uh, to everyone uh, one what is Vera doing and two uh, has anyone done anything in particular out of the ordinary to prepare for to prepare for going here yeah for for going to the the Pinterest estates yeah are we are we there already yeah yeah we we jumped ahead is that yeah, not what we were wanting to do we were asking about oh, yeah, cuz we're at, we're at, it looks like we're at Burgos right now is that right or are we well you're on the northern yeah. part of Burgos yeah okay so, sort of the borderlands between Burgos and Parthenay. So something will happen before we uh, take the uh, path that diverts from the main, uh, whatever the long <laughs> path that we have. Yeah. Uh, before we take the one that goes off to the Pentras Estates, Vera would stop at a different location. Uh, about 50 miles away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I, can I do that? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, so, as we're moving in our carts, uh, you'll see a road uh, that we're approaching, and Vera will slowly pull the cart to the side of the road as we approach this like diversion, and she'll get out of the cart. Everything okay? I'm not going any further than this. What? Oh. And when uh, Vera looks up, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Riz would not recognize it, but for a brief second, Petravian, or anyone who is looking at Vera at this time, would uh, see that she was utilizing uh, uh, Soul's uh, <coughs> visage for their face. And it's just going to turn back into their own. And the, the ears will shorten. That was real. 50 miles from here, there's another road. You can okay. just um, keep going and you can get there. And Vera's just kind of shaking. Riz will kind of approach and pull out the map. Just point to it on here for me, just in case. And Vera will just like mark like a direction 
It's okay. gonna be like a like right or something. Are you okay? Vera, just kind of like twitching around, just a quick jolt of a like a no. We will Don't be tell safe. them about my siblings, all right? If you see anyone on your way there. Well, we we said we wouldn't talk to anyone. Yes, everyone. Oh, right. Not talking not, to a soul. Not going to talk to anyone. And Vera you? will uh, walk up to Petravian. And uh, will uh, put a hand on her her own shoulder, and pick up Hummel. And it's going to basically show Petravian Hummel. Hummel's going to stay with you. If you absolutely need me, I'll be there. But don't ask me to come if I'm not needed. All right? Dream of it. Stay safe. You hear like a a sw loud swallowing as they're like kind of choking back. Whatever you see there, it wasn't Melly's fault. It was mine, all right. It wasn't Melly's fault. And Vera's going to. Actually, <laughs> Vera will pause for a bit I'll be here for a few days well a couple weeks if you decide to come back or she will be back and Vera will uh, swarm shape and head down the path was it Ellie's fault so this didn't feel right I don't know yeah I feel like we're all, I guess, close enough to have heard that, or just Petravian heard that. I assume that anyone could have heard that. Okay. Curla's going to have a a thoughtful expression on their face as they mold that over in relation to the things that uh, Vera has told them in the past. I have an idea. But we're going to have to see the place for ourselves for me to concrete it, you know? I'm not sure like you. Okay. And you'll see the empty cart that Vera has left there with her horses. And you'll also, if you go inside, notice that there are no longer any beehives remaining inside there. They have been scraped clean. It. I feel like I should have mm -hmm. I feel like they don't plan on us wanting them back for some weird reason. Well, we can guess Vera did something stupid when she was young, huh? <laughs> Alright. I guess. I would think after how it's in the though. It's either, like, I don't, I don't know what it could be. Every teenager does something stupid, yes? Well, sometimes you, you, it doesn't stop once you stop being a teen. Well, yeah, you're right. And they kind of just wink at you and then yeah, get ready to go. Kola's going to take a moment just to slip Healer's Sting and its sheath out of their, their belt and tuck it into their boot where it's uh, much better hidden. Including, I would assume, the symbol of Mellifera that's on the hilt. So, Vera was running the one cart. What was Petra riding? I'm trying to figure out the seating arrangement. I was thinking that Levi was riding around Archie's hands. Um, yeah, Vera was, was the only one there, driving so. the uh, <laughs> cart. Because usually, Petravian rides on Chisel, right? Mm hmm. Correct. Okay. Well, I'm asking also just because I was going to have Levette fly over and sit down next to Riz, but I don't know if there was a seat next to Riz. Um, Should be, since the, I'll, I'll still drive the cart until uh, until we come back. This is Vera's cart. Of course, I'm not going to leave it behind. Did you hear what Grim said? 
Yeah, I'm not sure what that really has to do with what I said, but okay. Well, maybe I misunderstood I, what you said. Uh, I'm yeah, I mean, if Levette flies over to sit next to Riz, they'll just kind of nod at Levette. Cuddle, mm -hmm. it looks like you have the cart. You're, I, because I have so much experience driving carts. I think uh, uh, Petravian's driving the cart. He just yeah. said. Well, uh, I mean, someone just uh, took a seat so next to. Well. So now Curla and Petravian both go to grab the reins of the cart. Oh, well, I mean, did you, did you want to drive? Uh, I mean, I've seen Rez do it quite a lot, and I've tried to help a little bit, but it's not exactly my cup of tea. I mean, it's, it's everybody should know how to. Would you I mean, like I've, to? I'd ask how you are with animals, but I've seen you with Chesel, so... Also, there's four times the horses. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just As suplex them, I'll get it from in line. How many points I have in handle animal? Is it a handle animal check or is it a survival check? Which which would it be? For <laughs> you drive max and out your uh, your depends, sass, but that's okay. Depends on how violent the horses are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How bad is the situation? Usually, it's handle animal. Okay. Um, handle animal for you, it's grapple animal for Petravian. <laughs> yeah. it's, it becomes combat maneuvers. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, fuck. Knock on the cart. <laughs> do you want me to do a handle animal track? You don't have to, but you you can oh, if you'd like. Wrong, I, I kind of want to see how badly this will yeah. yeah. go for it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you put it in the ditch. Uh, that's a 25. There you go. Yeah. You're a natural. Look at that. This is surprisingly straightforward. All right. <laughs> Not a single stubborn horse. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I can do it. This isn't, this isn't that hard. All right. Yeah. So you were expecting a horse to be as obstinate as Riz's horse. horse. These are just yeah. fine. These are well-trained. These are, well -trained these are good boy horses. These are real horses. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I do not have a real horse. <laughs> ah, I have an hungry um, god tearing the fabric of space-time. Anyway. Lovett sat down next to Riz and talked to them. She's going to look up and say, I'm, I'm kind of second guessing what we talked about I feel like I'm not I, I don't understand what we talked about I guess because I feel like I'm not quite fun and this whole thing with Val has really get it to me I don't I've known her for basically as long as I've known anyone and I don't know why what's going on and why she won't talk about it well Vera is kind of like a uh a good, uh, what word would you use? A good radar on whether or not shit's about to go bad, it seems like. She's normally cool, collected, and very angry, right? We know that about Vera. But yeah. when shit's kind of like bad, bad, she does shit like this. So I am a little worried. But based on context of how she was talking, I am guessing she did something bad. Well, yeah, I guess that, but, like, the fact that she doesn't want to be there for it, and she's, she, I mean, I don't know, like, I, I guess it makes sense, but it doesn't feel right. It, feel, it doesn't feel like, it feels like something is off. It feels like she should be here. Well, maybe she's not ready to face whatever it is. Maybe it's that bad. But I'm certainly not the person to uh, make someone face something they're not ready to. I just, I feel like I failed there somehow. If we want to, this is a guess here, if we want to try to be uh, successful, supportive friends, I think all we have to do is uh, learn what we have to learn there, get our pieces, and be understanding with her when we get back. We, we return, like we said. I mean, if it's as bad as she's making it out to be, that some of us might not want to um, see her again for some reason. Um, yeah, we'll see about it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. A lot, a lot of bad shit happened because of me, and she was able to see it. So I feel like if it's bad compared to that, I don't know what it could be. I don't know if that would be a town for us to even see. I guess we just have to 
go to find out. And you can you can message Vera. You can let her know yeah. we're okay at times, if need be. If you if you feel like that would bring her comfort. I don't know her as well as you. Well, that's what I'm confused about. I really like I don't know at all. It's been so fucking long, and I feel like we're going to finally go to where I could find out well about y'all. And I'm I it feels like. I'm doing something wrong for doing that. I feel like I'm betraying hell. But we do need these pieces, and you have Vosco's blessing to make these. I believe wholeheartedly that we need to do these. But let us also try to respect Vera as we try to do these. Of course, always. I think that's all we can do. I guess so. It just doesn't feel like enough. Does anything? Wait, that's a good point. I'll move out Sorry, we go. that's a bit, uh, yeah. And they'll just kind of urge their horse to go forward and they get really quiet and awkward. <laughs> and they follow behind Curla's cart. All right. So as you guys approach uh, this place you're heading towards, uh, I asked before, and I, I think there was some communication there, mm. but... Uh, <laughs> Are you going? Are you? Is there anything you guys are doing out of the ordinary? I guess. I mean, Vera didn't really say any of the other god symbols were an issue, so no. And she didn't really say that to Riz at all, so no. Hiding, yeah, just for me, just hiding any symbol that has to do with uh, Melifera. My staff okay. doesn't have that on there, so I'm not worried. Okay. Yeah. Do you have that um, on the side of the Vardo? So the Mellifera <laughs> symbols that are on you? Why hiding? would I have it on the side of the Vardo? <laughs> I don't know if you had put it on there yet. Well, I figured Vera would have, like, showed up with a, a knife Jesus one night and just, Christ. like, scrawled it into the side. Uh, There's, like, like, a little ah. Mellifera symbol, and under it says, Vera was here. That would yeah. be such a damn move. Yeah. I should but, like, that. right in character. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I've, uh, I've like... hidden away the knife, and I think that was the only thing with the mellifera I would have on. Okay. So. Cool. Well, in that case, I'm clean. <laughs> this brings us soul. to the morning of the 27th. So it's about, we'll say about 10.30 or so in the morning. You guys broke camp, and you've made your way a little bit further. And ahead of you, you see a walled city. Tall buildings could be seen poking above the heights of the wall. And strangely, the east side of this city has a strange haze or fog over it. Could I get a perception check from everyone? Oh, yes. That's a 32 from Riz. Uh, 24 from Levette. 13 for Petravian. That is a 29 from Curla. All right. It's just a model. Well, everyone but Petravian then notices this. Uh, <laughs> and that is that if you actually like really look at that haze on the east side of the city, you realize that it's not smog or, or fog or clouds. It's shifting strangely and swirling in ways that can't be gas or cloud they're obviously something alive and moving almost like the eastern side of the city is engulfed in some sort of giant swarm hey big guy but uh, you see in that it's a cloud uh -huh. <clears throat> what the fuck is that that is not shit. natural what is it birds Ahead, you bit. you guys have to work on this whole bridge thing a bit, aren't you? Second I guess. Mean... I, believe, I'm, I believe in you. Second guess. Mm. You you go well, one little like. You don't think it's clouds, and you don't think it's birds. I'm guessing mm -hmm. it's magical. Okay, start with the B word again, where Lovett was leading you. Mm -hmm. Kind of sounds like UG. Bugs? Wow! Look at you! You're so smart. Hey, I'll get there eventually. No, 
Uh, you're I'm... already getting there. You're fine. I I seems to me like this is maybe related to uh, what Dell is concerned about. So should we keep her? I, I imagine the two, the Vardo and the Carter. We kind of like stop my side at this parallel. point. So they can try. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're still a little ways from the town. You just, so what, you're seeing it and like the other side of this valley. You think we should, uh, you know, go in the other side of the city, or do I we feel like we just go in how it would be normal. Try not to talk to anyone while we're there, and just look for this piece, and maybe from context learn what that is. Yeah, you want my realistic assessment, or do you want the game plan? Yes. I mean. Game plan is what Lee said. My least success went is that we go in, try not to talk to somebody, someone talks to us, we try not to find out what those are, but we end up finding what they are and changing something about them forever. And also probably completely going back on everything that Bella wants us to do. Yeah, that okay. sounds like uh, this team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask if you could maybe scope them out a little bit, for, you know, see if there's anyone uh, crew in any of the gates. Because if we roll up and they start talking to us in order to get into the city, then we've already b broken our promise about not talking exactly, to anyone. But, so yeah, I mean, it's not. It's I mean, we can spill hells on these. But I, I don't, don't want to. I don't want to spill hells, blood on these. Yeah. Um, whoa. Well, yeah. That, where is that coming from? Oh, I was just thinking if like the easier way to get in is to just like Maybe not we'll deal talk with people. About the city. No, it's a lot of people to not deal with. I mean, Vera would do it. They don't deal with a lot of people. Uh, no, I don't think Vera... Vera is not a people person, but she doesn't just start going on a killing spree. Yeah, she she's like a better person than me. Come on, Petravian. Yeah. I'm... Let's try and avoid yeah, Ken and anyone right. if, we, if we can. But can you, can you see anything from here? Do we need to get closer? Do we need to go around a different route? I'm, I'm asking you, Levat. Because you're, you know, you've got the old. Oh yeah, sure. Do you want me to take an LA review? Couldn't hurt, could it? I yeah, guess I can go spot the me a situation. Too. You can go ahead and make a another perception check, and I shall do so. I'll tell you a little bit more information about the defenses of the city. Fly up in the air, look through my little thing, and roll slightly worse. Twenty-one. Oh uh, yeah. So. You don't see a whole lot of useful information, uh, but you do see that the gates of the city are manned, like there are people. Uh, you also see that there are throngs of people heading into the town, like there's like groups of between two and twenty people like walking along the road, heading into town, uh, being stopped by the guards, and then proceeding on inside. So there are it's not like the place is locked down. There are, pe like, peasants basically going in and out of the place. Peasants. Nah. Um, oh. Peasants. And there, but there only does seem to be one primary gate uh, to the city, and it is on the south side of the wall. Okay. Are they all oh. afoot, or is there cart traffic? No, no cart traffic. All of it's by foot. So oh. you'd be the only carts. Well, then, yeah, I'll, I'll return to the group, relay that. It looks like we'll not see anyone's visiting, until the one you was a cult, or two, and, but yeah, I mean, the only there's only one day in the heart, and the hell's cults. See, we can't, I do not think we are getting into any city by literally talking to no one. See, uh, Reasonable. lots of bad happens, bad things happen in cities when they let people in without them talking to anybody. I feel like it's going to happen, but uh, I have cover story of being fortune teller, and I can just, you know, hit this down, start the whole spiel, because you know I'm actually a fortune teller. So, Are we... what? Cover fun that mm -hmm. That that'd mm -hmm. work. I mean, if people need a healer, I can say that I'm a traveling healer. That's more or less accurate. So, so you know, you see, he's been like he's. I guess I didn't really think about it because I figured. We're not here for the hour, we're here for the device. But I guess telling them that we're looking for the uh, remnants of a vampire's world is probably not the best cover story either. So. Probably not. Probably stick mm. with the whole cell in your clockwork automata yeah. type. That's probably going to be. Petravian, have you got a cover story or are you just going to keep your mouth quiet? You know, anything? 
Do we need to remind you of what we're not talking about? Anybody. <laughs> Alright, uh, he, he is I'm the higher with, I was doing what I'm told. He's taking it very literally, and I like this it. This one's I'm taking a vow of silence. He'll, he'll this be one's a paladin of Eden, and he's taking a vow of silence, right? Yeah, Perfect. He, he, um, he's hired help, he's guarding our carriages. We'll go with that. When Works has me. me talking been a good thing? Lots of times. It always makes things more interesting. <laughs> Thank you. God who talks. What did uh, they say this time? Oh, uh, they said you make things interesting by talking. Huh. Okay. I mean, they're not as much as I, as I want to be interesting, I really don't. I, I'm really. Vera is really trusting me to not fuck this up, so I'm going to do that this time. So. What, fuck it up. Fuck you, God. I wouldn't do it. Riz just takes your hand and like lowers it. I wouldn't do that. Petravian, no. I'm still very iffy about the deities, and even I wouldn't do that. Even I wouldn't tempt the fates like that. That was not a smart move, mate. Don't, don't do that what? ever. What kind of petty denial? you? <laughs> <laughs> this is where that fake vow of silence, I think, might want to kick in. Shall we, shall we start it now? <laughs> Don't answer that. It Just started. Use your pretty looks. We'll go with this. All right, let's go. All right. So <laughs> you guys pull your vehicles forward, and as you're riding in the oh. like final stretch toward this town, uh, you start to pass some of these uh, effectively migrant workers. These these peasants that are walking toward the town, and uh, you know they get over to the side of the road as you approach, so you don't have to go off into like the the ditches or into like the the grass and uh, as they're like getting over to the side like some of them will turn and, and like wave or, or nod or regard you guys Riz will and, be uh, polite wanna... and gesture the same yeah one of them will actually call out and be like oh, are you traitors in the sense oh we're gonna be tight anyway aren't we this is a great place do you mm. know ah, they're, they're gonna save everyone Oh, oh, cool. They're they're gonna what now? How are they gonna do that? Well, they we'll, we'll they're offering the so thing. much money. I'll I'll be able to make enough here in a week than I could at home in almost half a year. Doing what? Work. They're offering work, and high paid too. What kind what, of what work? What do you consider high pay? Five gold a day. Wow, the oh. diesel oh, there's a lot of action. Shit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I agree. I should hire some. <laughs> <laughs> um, what what do, what are they saying is is the work for you all though? This and that. I mean, sometimes it's cooking and cleaning. Sometimes it's moving things, construction. Oh, so, the, yeah, the, the really. The peasant shrugs. This and that, huh? Yeah, most anything, but five gold a day. That is a lot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've never seen that kind of money. We'll be able to, I'll be able to have enough money to, to, well, to support my whole family. Well, we're we're very happy for you, and uh, good good luck with that. Are you here to buy stuff? Are, are you traders Sometimes, with the wagons? Yeah. Well, like I said, we we're sort of like traders. Um. Yes. I'm more of a healer, but. I sell fortunes. Oh. Well, plenty of people will have a coin to pay for those, I suppose. Yeah, they they don't need to pay that much though. I just, I'm 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 simple. Oh, okay. Um, what? but it was wonderful talking to you. I hope you get the most wonderful work and good luck. And you too. Thanks. Yeah. Thank, the thank the you. peasant waves, and you all move forward toward the town. Yeah, we sure went a long time without talking to anyone. <laughs> they talked to us first, and I didn't want to be rude. Mm -hmm. I mean, we weren't in the town yet. I think it kind of clicks in once we pass the per, you know, the mm. gate. Oh yeah, that's how yeah. I'm treating it anyway. Oh yeah, we've always been one. Val has always been one to get be gotten on the technicalities. That's how. <laughs> well, it's very helpful when you have contracts. So, she didn't ask that's us to sign shit. I, I would think that that is why. 
We don't have the technicalities to defend it. <laughs> so, your group makes it closer to the town. I'd like you all to make another perception check, please. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good. Ooh. 34. That is a 35 from nice. Curla. Thank you. I'm on a roll. I haven't rolled above a 10 all session. Oh, yeah. It's 27. 18. <laughs> all right. Well, honestly, this one is so low that all of you got it. And that is, <laughs> hey, as, you, as right. you approach the town, you begin to smell this, like, caustic smell in the air. This, like, really, it's it's this chemical-y smell that, that kind of gets into your nose and just immediately starts burning your nose. Mm. Well, that's it's, not pleasant. Like as you breathe it oh, in, no, it's like it gets into your nose. Your nose starts to burn and hurt a little bit, uh, and as it gets in, it starts drying your throat out. It's just this, it's this does really it smell like nasty it was smell. on the steam aisle. As you say, it's kind of a nostalgic. little bit, a little bit like that. Huh. So you you think it might be pollution, maybe? But it's it's uh, this really kind of weird causticky smell. Just on pure reflex, Curler is going to start mumbling under their breath and twirling their hands and then snap their fingers in front of their face and cast air bubble. Okay. Yeah, Riz is just going to have a, a mask appear by just pulling their fingers over their face. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, is... we'll bet over here like... Mm, oh, smells yeah. like home. home. <laughs> uh, uh, gotta love that lung cancer. <laughs> the number one cause of fatality among gnomes. <laughs> if you don't count the mimics. <laughs> Other than mimics, yeah. Uh, oh, carcinogens. Mm. Slightly distorted by the air bubble, Curler will turn to Petravian and is like, alright, I know you're not talking, but give me a nod if you want one of these bubbles as well, because the smell is not, not great. Want not? Alright. Finger waggle, mumbling, snap, and I'll cast air bubble again, and uh, a big old bubble of air will oh. appear around Petravian's head. All right, so you ride up, and you're now approaching the gate. There are a couple of guards out here that are sort of lazily like resting on halberds, just being town guards. And uh, as you as you ride up, one of them is gonna, you know, he puts a hand up, kind of lazily to be to to gesture for you all to stop. We stop. Yeah, I, I'll pull the horses to a stop. Cause I can Good morning. That. Morning. Good morning. What, uh, what's your business here? Used uh, to seeing laborers. Ah, yes, we, we've been trading from a foul. We just got back from a trip from Prota. Mm. For our trip? Yes. We well, there's a lot of interesting things to say. Hmm. And so I'm who? Uh, well, yeah, well, I was interested. Uh, we were just passing through the area already, but it's the, the first stop we've had in a while. And we were hoping for a place to rest and hopefully undo the wells. Could I get a deception? Please. Yeah. I'm alright with that. Uh. Oh, that wasn't a great roll, but I still got a 24. <sighs> okay. So the gate, the gate guard, like, kind of looks at you. I squint a little bit. Looks to the rest of the people in the group. Most innocent smile I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Manage. Riz is just kind of looking at their fingernails and looks back. What's up? So... Uh, so I've seen, you know, quite a few traders in my day. Uh, also seen quite a few adventuring parties in my day. I'll say you look more like the latter than the former. Oh. They're not mutually exclusive. I what sell fortunes. Adve adventuring traders? Of course, we... <laughs> but I take it y'all, you lot can handle yourselves in a fight? We are able to defend ourselves if we have to. Not that we would... <laughs> Is, is, Expect to. Wait, is Petravian flexing at the guard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Petravian's yeah. flexing at the guard. Yeah. Wow. Just, like, it, intensely trying to ignore Petravian. <laughs> well. Were you looking for help? I suppose if you are, uh, if you are traders, you wouldn't mind if we inspect your, your cargo, would you? 
Riz kind of stiffens up. <laughs> he um, walks over to the cart, the, the four horse one, the one that's completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks up, he's like, you don't mind if I inspect your wares, do you? That's not the one that has the wheels, but the... But, but Are you I, sure? He reaches you... up and he starts to open the, the, the door on it. Okay. You can open it. He looks inside and it's completely empty. <laughs> he looks back at a lot of you. Huh. That one's not mine. My, my stuff is out of my person. Your trader and your entire inventory is on your person. Yes, I specialize in mineralization. <laughs> I'm about to take this guy to another dimension to make my point. <laughs> <laughs> is that... Is, is that a euphemism? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> but maybe. The god's name is Nod? Well. Okay. So, he, he kind of like chuckles a bit about the, uh, the miniaturization. And he looks over to the, the cart with the, you know, with riz on it and uh i suppose this is just your your traveling house it literally is uh it that makes can sense. turn into a booth for fortunes though i can show you right now and riz just hits back with their elbow pops out the <laughs> awning in the front area where the crystal ball kind of rolls out onto a little pedestal <laughs> that never gets old and then they just kind of throw glitter anticlimactically at the end <laughs> It's uh, it's impressive. I can tell that you've you've been around quite a bit. It is what well, I do. It is my job, you know. If I could give you a bit of advice, then before I let you through, stay away from the quarantine walls. Really, that whole part of town. Um, do you stay mean... stay more to the south and west. That would be the and clouds, I assume. The closer you get to the wall, maybe wear something around your mouth and nose too. Sure. I've got that covered. Can I ask what the what is the quarantine zone? Oh, you, you've never been here before, I'm have so you? I'm so sorry, I have not. I am new. <laughs> oh, well, uh, welcome to Pinterest. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so there were some troubles, and um, well, we don't go to the quarantine zone anymore. At least most folks don't. Now, nobles are always looking for a, a sword or two willing to make the trip but uh why is you that said, what's that why, why is that nobles oh. you know wanting a sword or two to make the trip oh plenty of heirlooms left behind things like that who knows oh did Whatever nobles the... used to live in that area oh plenty oh. and they're always looking to get their hands on some of their old stuff and well anyone who's willing to help take back parts of the city I mean it's been a process happened about six years ago but it's it's getting better I mean <laughs> it's a little more stable now than it's been at least these last six months or so you don't mind me asking what are we what are they taking the city back from oh the swarm oh why is that with those clouds well yeah a swarm of uh, uh, uh the swarm he just says it like it's something everybody just knows. <laughs> Butterflies? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, I'm not getting close to that thing if I can help it. Gotcha. Don't blame you. It doesn't look very fun. And then they just, like, hit their Vardo again and it just pops back together. They also throw the last bit of glitter anticlimactically at the end. <laughs> <sighs> but, uh, yeah. If, uh, if you lot... You know, if you're adventuring tradespeople, then, uh, you know, maybe you can make yourself some extra coin while you're here. I'm sure the nobles oh, yeah. wouldn't mind. Oh, who doesn't love coin? Oh, no, no one. Who doesn't I, love them anyway? I love coin. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I love it so much. <sighs> <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, there's people coin there. Well, it's okay. Good luck selling your miniaturization stuff. <laughs> it doesn't... The guard will tip his helmet to you all and, uh, you know, basically make a sign up to the the people up in the in the city walls and the gate will 
swing open and allow you entry. Yeah, have fun selling your miniatures, nerd. (laughs) 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 It's like (laughs) miniaturization. What are these? A bunch of Dungeons and Dragons nerds? They're figurines. (laughs) They're collectibles. Books for ants. (laughs) Riz just leans over to the bat and is like. I think I found the thing that Vera was worried about us knowing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think this guy knows a lot about medialization. I'm surprised. You could tell just by looking at it. I wasn't planning on selling it. <laughs> Lovetta, I don't know how to tell you this, but that wasn't a good lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, I could. This stuff is well a fortune. Just, you could. You can you keep our family in these books. I mean, like, uh... We don't look like traders, honey. <laughs> I look like a trader. I, own a, I am a trader. I'm a business. Because they love it. Is what do you trader. want from me? <laughs> we, we, both, we both own businesses. I mean, yeah, do... but, like... We don't have I the will, shit to back it up, really. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, the the gate has been opened. Are you guys going to proceed on inside? Yeah, we're, we're kind of chatting as we're moving forward. Okay, well, in that case, welcome to Pinterest. Ooh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, Dramatic. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ooh. That is a big-ass city. So, you have entered into the only gate into the city, which is on the south side, and... Very bad design, really. Shut the fuck (laughs) up, Kyle. It's a beautiful map. (laughs) I'm saying to have just one gate. Yeah, Yeah. for one gate. Yeah, terrible seems like a fire hazard. Yeah. They should at least have a fire exit. (laughs) 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 You have... The the barbarians broken through the fire exit. (laughs) (laughs) okay so upon entering the town you see what can only be known as the quarantine wall a strange makeshift wall of reinforced stone with wood beams supporting it from behind the barrier seems to cut right through the city itself and as you approach a smell assaults your nose those of you who can still smell Um, it is acrid and foul the townsfolk here are all wearing thick cloth wrapping all around their, their heads, face, most of their body. They're, they look almost like mummies walking around. They're covered in, in like leather clothes and thick wrapping around their mouth and face. Their hands are wrapped, and there's people sort of milling around doing manual labor all over the place, people loading and unloading things. And you see the sights and sounds of what normal industrial work look like in these rows of buildings uh, in these sort of industrial side of town over here. I lean in to Riz. You know, I know this is kind of messed up, but I'm kind of impressed. It looks like a big chunk. Yeah, it looks like they are already... Assuming that this was like... On so many of our little mansion, looks like you really fucked them up. Made made a change. Let's say made a big difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> that is some god shit. Yeah. The Travian kind of leans to Hummel. Very like. <laughs> okay. Can you read? What the fuck did you say? Yeah, what sorry, you say? Uh, sorry. Uh, are you okay? Like whispering. Are you okay? Can you breathe? Are you, is, are you okay? Hummel's just like, hey, I must join the swarm. Hey, Beard, I'm quite, uh, <laughs> I'm quite close to the swall. Hummel, be Hummel, that is. Uh, yeah. What's Hummel doing? Uh, Hummel's not doing well. <laughs> Hummel's not doing well at all. Uh, this is, this is worse than being in the Deadlands for Hummel. Oh no. Something's definitely not right here for Hummel. So, so I think uh, as you guys were going in, Hummel would have gone into like the back of uh, Petravian's armor, like at his neck, and you get no response. 
if you even know Hummel's there. If he's not dead. Oh, Hummel's famously uncrushed back. <laughs> Taking the shit out of me. You just lean back, you're like, why is my neck wet? <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny, though. <laughs> that's your boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's a, no, it's a no, B no. with sixty-four hit points. <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of hit points. It's very, that's that's very a lot tough of fucking hit points. That's a sturdy fucking B. I, I imagine <laughs> like because he's like a bigger B. It's almost like bumblebee like, but he's, he's so a honey. Fat. It's a honey bee. It'd be like squishing one of those like really good uh, stress toy. The uh, one that has the gel <laughs> in it. It's like oh, my lord. Nice. You're so Does fucking squeak? weird. Sixty-four. <laughs> Hit points at a honeybee. I just imagine like this this baseball sized bee, and you hit it with a tennis racket into the floor, and it just comes back up, and it's like fine. <laughs> it's like that did literally nothing to me. <laughs> You're like, oh no! <laughs> Unless I crit. <laughs> Petravian, any chance you got any spells on you that are really good at finding things? Hmm. Because I'm not sure how we're going to find it. I thought this was going to be kind of a smaller place. <laughs> it's, it's, fucking, yeah. it's fucking big. Well, I was expecting it to be big, too big for us to just look slow, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big as hell. Well, if it was six years ago that that happened, and Karis was you know, down there under six years ago, mm -hmm. there is a chance. Oh, no, so literally a battle is in 50% chance. Oh, yeah, I guess that is more than half of the city. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. But maybe the light bulb is on this side. Oh. Please don't let me die. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not the next day either. Alright, let's maybe get into should... this town. Should we not let anyone die. Yes. What should... was that? Should we, like, clap our faces on stuff so we don't stick out so much? I already have a face mask on, so... Oh, I mean... Do you have any clothes? Riz takes off their cloak. Oh, no, no, it's not... that's... that's way too much. They shake it, huh? and it gets smaller and smaller as they're shaking it, and then they just kind of put it on you, and then they move their hand up and it kind of like has a, a mouth hooded area for you. Oh. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's not your style but I am trying to help. Oh, it's fine. Between this and the glasses, it is not even in my face. Alright. Um, yeah. I can uh, just grab that when you're done with it. And <laughs> Riz kind of fidgets a little because they're not used to taking their cloak off. Um, Do you want these back? The spinning does not bother me. No, no, I just... I did not realize how it feels to have, like, uh, this this top area exposed. I usually have my cloak on, so... I yeah, kind of forget about it. The jacket the same way. Yeah. I will mean, I mean, lend it to you, but I do not think you will fit. I don't think I can shake that into my size. I'm so, just are you guys magic are you, tricks. Sorry, just a quick question. Are you guys like stationary in like a, the intersection here? I think we're moving uh, into town moving slowly. Forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which way on this map? Are you going north or are you going west? Uh, I guess uh, west would north be a better, better idea. Because okay. like north has like a cutoff point. Yeah, I figured we'd just go north until that point and then go west and okay. just kind of okay. like wiggle yeah, okay. along the wall. So as you continue north and you get like really like right next to the quarantine wall, uh, I'd like you all to make another perception check for me, please. Okay. 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 Thirty-three. I. <laughs> okay. How loud um, was it? <laughs> I'm still not rolled above a ten or a ten above. <laughs> Well, Zeno's not rolling this session, so it has to oh. fail on you. Yeah, it has to yeah, go somewhere. Really. You're all rolling, so, just in case. Riz, you're the only one that notices. Oh, never mind. No, Curla no. also notices. Oh, okay. I thought that was Zeno that joke a, rolling. Uh, 
That is a 37 no. from Curla. So nice. Riz and Curla, you both notice something, and that is as you're moving up this way, uh, you're going past some buildings as you're traveling, and like there's these little alleyways between them, and you notice um, a not insignificant number of corpses in the alleyways. Like just what are just like spr- like what look like dead peasants, like covered in these wrappings, just laying on the ground, in positions that you doubt they're asleep. Um, can we tell? You said they're wrapped up, but is there sort of an evident number of flies, or does the scent get worse? Is there a, uh, there is a sticky there? black residue, like pooled around their head, in most cases. Okay, but no way of determining how long they. I mean, unless you unless you go over there and like poke them now. Do you want to examine one like and so like make a heel check? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Okay. Um, poke it. I just want to know if I recognize it from being inside of Mellifera's fucking carcass. <laughs> if that looks like no. the same black iker. It okay. It's no, no, no. It's like it looks more like my mom, and they cried themselves to death. <laughs> no, it's not like oh, it's not like that. It's like a dark red. Oh, it, it okay, looks okay, like okay. it looks like drying blood, like pool drying, will, um, partially coagulated blood. Color will draw the reins up to kind of slow the horses down. Uh, to a, to a stop and just hand them off to Petravian. Mm-hmm. Take these, <laughs> leap down off the uh, off the cart and approach the bodies without getting too close, but close enough to yeah do that uh, do that heel check to see if I can determine anything more from the body. Sure. Okay. So you kind of kneel down and take a look at it a little bit more. And that oh yeah oh. that is a nat twenty twenty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So you. Take a look at it, and this appears to be a person that has succumbed to some sort of respiratory irritant, I guess is a way to put it. Uh, it looks like they probably started hemorrhaging in their lungs and choked on their own blood. Is pretty, pretty, pretty <clears throat> pleasant. I, uh... um, as you're examining the body, though, you hear shouts back from the street, uh, back in front of your own heart. Okay, I... Uh make this assessment and then I head back towards the the carts and the shrieks and I've still I think got the air bubble around my head at the point that still at this point mm-hmm. how long does that last that's it one minute per level so it's been oh 16 yeah, yeah minutes. Still it's have probably it. been yeah. yeah it's getting close to the edge of that but you still have okay. it uh so as you pop back out in the street you see there's an opposing cart heading south being pulled by a single emaciated horse with this weird like kind of leather mask thing over it and it it's maybe trying to filter the air for the horse um, but it just sort of gives the whole thing kind of a grisly appearance hmm. also the fact that the horse is like emaciated you can see its ribs and it has like these little cuts on its body that are just sort of weeping blood the carts loaded down with crates and barrels and there's a guy like driving the the cart like yelling at whoever like abandoned a wagon in the middle of the street Carlo will um will head over. Uh because I guess that they're, they're like dead stop right in front of our car. Yeah. And they're like, you know, who did you leave this here? Get this out of the way. Or there's work here. <clears throat> yeah, I there's work, but I what have you done to this poor animal? It's not what I've done to it. It's what Aroni's barrier's done to it. We'll do the same to you. Now get the hell out of my way. Whose barrier did you say? I don't have time for this. Get out of my way or I'll call the guard. I will get out of your way and I'll tell you what, I'll do you one better. I'll hail your horse up to perfect health. But, you know, a little bit of information might be handy in exchange. Uh, diplomacy. Absolutely. <laughs> that, ho oh, ho, oh, that is a 34 God. on another what nat 20. What is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nat okay. 20s followed by nat 20s. Can I have some of my luck back? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, he's fruitless tonight. <sighs> Finally, that All right. Well, in that something. case, his demeanor completely shifts. <sighs> you know what? It's been a long day. I'm already. It's not even noon yet, and I'm already cranky. I'm, I'm sorry. Completely I... understood. No worries, mate. Look, you're obviously new to this place. It's it's something that's called a Roni's barrier. It's 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 what they put on the quarantine wall to keep the swarm out. Gets in your lungs and kills you dead. The less time you spend around it, the better. The longer your life will be, at least. 
you just see Riz backing their <laughs> cart up to turn into a different area. Like, they're not even, like, going to stick with the party. <laughs> they're just backing the cart up. All right, it, that's turning it. <laughs> just leaving. So, you figure you spend minutes near this thing and it's taken hours or days off your life, so... Less time this, you spend around these, the better. That's that's handy, you know. And this and this barrier, Aroni's barrier, is that a person? The person who cast the barrier, or something? Or? Oh no, it, it's the it's the it's the stuff. He kind of like puts his hands together to like indicate that it's a it's a thing. Oh, I see. They brew I... it, and they in the labs over there. The and labs. They, you mm-hmm. And then they they put it on the wall to keep the swarm out. Works wonders. Save the city. What what kind of swarm is it? We're, we're, as you say, we're quite new here. Oh, well, I mean, it's a lot of everything, I guess. So, insects? Stinging, or... biting things? Yeah, oh yeah. Lots of them. I see. More than that, too, but mostly. Well, you've been very helpful. I, I appreciate that. Um, you, you're you doing all right, right health-wise, you know, you, you, you're all right. He Is it just kind of shrugs. Horse? And, and like he's he's also has face and nose wrapping as well. Okay. Eh, he shrugs. Can't complain about the pay. Oh my well, god. Well, Curla will um, <laughs> Curla will pat the horse. Uh, and uh, I think channel energy. Okay. To just include all targets around you. Or just actually the horse? no, that that feels a little bit. Hmm. What? Mm. It seems like that would be the nicest thing to do. Yeah, you know what, Curl is <laughs> <Kill everybody. laughs> kind. So yes, I will go ahead and channel energy, uh, making sure that I get uh, get both this fine gentleman and his horse and whoever else happens to be nearby. Awesome. And go ahead uh, with that. How is the horse looking after this? Is that is that good enough to hold up my word of returning them to perfect health? Oh yeah, 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 very much so. Uh, so that's going to heal twenty six hit points to the horse and all and all things within a thirty foot bubble of you. Um, and oddly enough, uh, not only does that heal the horse and the ride, the driver of that uh, vehicle, uh, some of the bodies in the alleyway that you that you didn't quite get a chance to fully examine uh, start <laughs> to cough as if they weren't actually fully dead and are now back to life <laughs> and uh just wait for them to die again as it's just yeah, enough so they... for them to slowly <laughs> suffer a little longer yeah. what have i done <laughs> you've only prolonged their suffering on this world oh, no and with with the weight of that realization dawning on your soul uh we're gonna take a short break <laughs> hello we are back and ready for some more fucked up shit Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. So the last one that happened is that Curla just channeled energy and healed uh, this other cart driver, the horse, as well as a couple people who were clinging to life in the nearby alleyway uh, who are currently clamoring up to their to their feet, like coughing out bits of dried blood. Yeah, I'm well, backing up is... the cart and getting out of here. <laughs> That is disturbing as hell, but uh, thank you for the information and, uh, you know, best of luck to you and, and maybe uh, spend as little time as you can here, you know, take care of your health now that you got it back. Fair point. You as well. Stay away from the walls. Yeah, Curla will um, sort of clamber back up onto the cart, I guess take the reins back from Petravian if Petravian doesn't feel like driving, um, and follow after Riz and the Varda. All right, so you head down the side street. And going down to this west side street here, uh, you pass by a large building that is really ornately designed and looks like some sort of public bathhouse. Hmm. Interesting. So you pass by that and you go to another intersection. Uh, there appears to be like large complexes all around you. The street, city streets are all lined with buildings. And like I said, there's people milling about all over the place. This is a very busy town. Does the uh, bathhouse also stank? Um, no. It does appear to be a place where people can get relatively clean water. Oh, wow. So okay. there are people there, like, rationing out water. Um, is there anything 
any particular place you're trying to go? I mean, are you just wandering around, or...? Yeah, I was gonna ask for a library. Okay. Uh, you probably just wanna ask a rando like, for that? Well, yeah, either like a rando, or maybe like a guard or something, someone who looks like they would know. I, I'm not gonna... I haven't yet, because I figured everybody looks like they're sick and busy. <laughs> but if there's somebody <laughs> who looks like they're standing okay. around to uh, help. Yeah, you can find a town guard who's just sort of standing at a, a street corner. And, of course, they're still going to have wrapping around their mouth. Uh, Excuse nose. me, Sam. But they don't... It's not quite as bad smelling over here, even though you're still relatively close to the wall. They look over at you. What is it? Um, is there a public library or something in the nature where we could get some information? Kind of squints at you. No. Pu there is no public library. There's a school. There's a... Some markets. There's a jail. Yeah, so we course, just came from the... Potter. He's just uh, getting used to his customs again. Hmm. Um. You, you see, well, the school that might actually be helpful. All right. Uh, he actually just thumbs behind his shoulder. And it's uh, a big building just to block over. Oh, well, thank you very much, Sam. I'll look over. It's the start. Alright, so you guys... You guys head further to the west. And uh, you find the schoolhouse. In it, as, you know, it appears to be a regular schoolhouse, and if, if anything, the school is currently in session but uh, you're stopped outside by, any, you know, town guards or administrators of the building. They're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> what do you want with the children? <laughs> we're, we're adventuring trader <clears throat> teachers. Is yeah. there a... Are we looking for a place of higher education? Huh. Is, there, is that the kind of school this is? Uh, the person you're talking to is going to say that, no, this is, for, this is a place for children. Uh, to learn. But God mistook my, my species. If, if you're looking for libraries, I'm afraid you're in the wrong city. The only the only two that we had were in, you know, they're in the quarantine zone now. <laughs> so he's always, that must have been the point of hell smog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. That's great. But there was an academy on the north side of town, but it's it's overrun. It's yeah, an the... academy was probably yeah, like a an academy of like the sciences, magic and study and all that. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was, used to be ran by the Horace Vistel family. Oh, I don't know. I got the thing. It's just too late getting to me to play this time. What a name, Horace. What's wrong with that? Vista? The Horus Vistals, you know, one of the one of the one of the Petrarchs, the one of the five houses that make up the whole city. Yeah. I'll We're say. new here. Tell us about that. Well, the, the city it's it's named after the the Petrarchs, the the five houses that. Well, it was their idea to build this place in the first place. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm. I mean, so were still... the others? Well, there's the Horse Vistal, there's the Vianney, there's the Aroni, uh, there's the Fitcorin, and then, of course, there's the Liarum. You know, everybody knows that. Yeah. Well, we didn't, but we do now, so thank you for that. I think someone did. And Riz just looks over at Petra. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Vibrating, just like. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is Petrivian doing? He's existing in pain, I think. <laughs> Can't talk to anybody. I mean, you can. You just aren't. I mean, he did give an oath. He made a vow. You know, <laughs> everlasting love. love. If he the talks vow to somebody. Was for her. Oh, shit. 
I know you were referencing something that I have no idea what. You're oh, it, it was the the Swan Princess. I'm so sorry. The first one. Yeah, okay. the only the one. The only one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't acknowledge the other thirteen. <laughs> oh my god. So, do we continue freaking out this poor school teacher, or? Well, she doesn't seem freaked out, or did he? Think no, he's so? just talking to us. Thank you so much for the information, you know, we're new and we're so fucking stupid. So, um, anyways... Blaine, are you planning on heading into the quarantine zone? We're not planning on it, but, uh... Not if we have to, why? No, oh, just if you are. The nobles are always looking for people to do that. I know that they're oh, offering God. a mountain of money. Mm. Just, mm. just body sliding, like, just... I'm not. I, I handed the reins back to Curla, so Petrovian just like. Just that you all sort of had the look of adventuring folk about you, and I know that they, they have been hiring an adventurers recently to go and, well, to delve back there and pick out magic items and things that were left over after the uh, evacuation. Mm -hmm. We've held as much. Was, was there um, any sort of uh, group here that used to like make parts for like eh, machinery? Seems like a vague word, but s stuff like that to make magical objects. Was there like oh, a place was, like that? Mm -hmm. The Horus Fistel. Yeah, their whole oh, family. Okay. They they were the enchanters, craftsmen. Is, then that's, they made is that all kinds of various magic items. That wouldn't happen to be on this side of the wall, would it? Oh, heavens no. Oh, you know... No, it, it was overrun. Uh, sadly, it's... Fly. Now, some of them survived. Very few, but... No. All the nobles now, they live over in the Fitkorin estate. And they point to the southwest. And you said Big there were some Harris Vistas left, and the, so oh, they're, sure. they're there. A few of them, but... Their whole factory is in that sort in, in the quarantine zone, so it isn't much use to anyone anymore. Mm. Riz just looks at Levent and is l trying to communicate <laughs> that they're like, I think that's where we need to ask questions. Yeah. Just look at mm -hmm. Have we noticed the look? Has, has Petravian noticed the logo that, or this, uh, the crest uh, that was scarred on? Levette's back anywhere as we Who's been. back? Levette's back? So I said Levette's back. Vera's <laughs> back. I was Vera's like, back. Don't know why I was talking to you. She's got back. that weird metal Vera's spine, back. but that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that didn't Vera's mean scar. I didn't say anything about these scars. I don't know they're scars, but they're from the metal arms. Is he talking about those rat tats? <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Yeah, what stats. what scar was that exactly? So I know the one, one you're talking about. Left shoulder. Mm -hmm. the, the gauntlet. gauntlet. Yep. Yeah. The one. Yeah. And what was the symbol on the gauntlet? Uh, it was what looked like a lotus and a bunch of triangles all around it. Five yeah, you've triangles. seen that symbol around. Yeah, okay. it was on the front gate of the city. Okay. What direction? Yeah, was there like a cardinal direction to like each symbol? Are there more we, than uh, one? Is there more than one symbol? I'm asking. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. There were fi there was five triangles, mm -hmm. but like two of the triangles were pointing down. Uh, the other triangles were all it. Uh, is that the symbol of the city? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm yeah. trying to get this okay. answer yes. out of here. All right, yeah, that, that's that's the crest that, yes. That so is, that there's is, no okay. other symbols. That's just the okay. symbol for the city, it seems. That appears to be, yeah. The, that okay, is the cool. city's coat. Of Half arms. of us have seen Vera naked, so. It's seal, I suppose. That's It's the city seal, is what that would be called. Good to know. Yeah. Also, if Petravian was uh, being perceptive, he may have also seen it on every guard. <laughs> yeah. Every guard's tabard has that emblazoned on it. Okay, okay. Every guard's gauntlet, it has that emblazoned on it in the exact <laughs> same way. Hmm. <laughs> Bruh. 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 Right. So anyways, um, <clears throat> thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe we will go 
talk to a noble for work. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Good luck with all the teachings and such. And um, yep, Thanks that's for it. Your time. <laughs> this, they they go back about their duties and leave you to it. Okay, we gotta talk to the horse all. people, right? <laughs> we talk to her. We we not tell her. She said, "Contact me at only in case of emergency." There is no emergency yet. Yeah, uh, we got, we're still good. We 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 got. Yeah, but you also just not to to do a bunch of stuff that's already happened. <laughs> like, I, mean, I knew we were not getting by without talking to people. I realized that was not a realistic ask, unless they were going to just be like, "Oh, you must be the one looking for the vampire stuff." <laughs> and, like, I didn't really think that what was gonna happen, but this is kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to keep it for now. But I, I also, wasn't going to. No. But I mean, I don't want to just tell you after the fact. Well, I, I just so. figured she asked and I would like, um, be like, couldn't find it without that, so it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna send her a message and be like, we gotta go over the wall, not to explain, don't worry about it, it's fine. Because that'll Your definitely funeral. make sure that but, there what, are those worry. What if I yeah. slowly make a point not mad at you or anything? I just don't want to be- I just don't want to be trial trust. You know what? Um, if that is important for you, you go ahead and do it. Choose your own path. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, Riz just starts to lead the horse over in the direction that we were told where the Horus? Is it Horus or horse? How do I say it? <laughs> Horus? Like the Egyptian god? Horus. Okay, cool, because Riz is going to call it horse. Okay, well, it's, it's pronounced <laughs> Horus Vistal. Okay. Horse Bristol, let's say. Yeah, yeah Horus Bristol. You're heading, you uh, said you were going to head to the Horus... You want to, you're heading there? Okay. Yeah, because those are the makers, okay. right? No, no, yeah, no yeah. well, that's the one behind the wall, though. Well, yeah, but he said they're in the estates over to the southwest now. Yes. And maybe they would yes. know where it is. Okay, right, so, so that's you're the one in the southwest. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. I am gotcha, going to gotcha. meet the people. Ah, okay, okay. Of that You family. want to be where the people are. Ooh, that was Marcus. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, knowing now where they are, you find your way back to one of the main streets here, and you head your way west along this main road on the south side of town. And the further you go west, the more the air improves in quality. You begin to see actual, like, greenery and tree life this far out, and it oh. almost looks begins to look normal, and then you get back past this last line of, like, industrialized buildings, and you see this vast, beautiful manor house in front of you. It is immaculate in every sense of the word. It is. It looks like it was made with only the finest and el elven, high elven architecture. Uh, right. Very much looks almost looks almost like um, Karis's house, actually. Ah, so, good to know. Well, it's a bit go west. Life is it's a bit there. bigger than Karis's house, though. About twice the size, actually. It is fabulously huge. <laughs> Got <laughs> gardens all around it, and uh, it is just this incredible bastion of just perfection in architecture ahead of you. Ah, oh, <laughs> money. A little bit ostentatious. Yeah, 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 I thought so his family. His house was too much. <laughs> They're moderate for high elves. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently. Yeah. <laughs> They're not one of the ones that let their wealth really show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beardy, what is everyone yeah. speaking? Uh, around these parts. Um. Because <laughs> Curl's like the only one who didn't drink the honey. I feel like it would be yeah. between Burgos and Parthes. Like. Yeah, it's kind of a mix. Burgos, Parthes, and Elvin. Okay, well, Curla speaks Elven, so... Okay. 
Yeah, I guess, yeah, there'd be a high level of Elven here yeah. because of everyone here. High level of Elven. <laughs> Unless they're Wood Elves. They aren't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wood Elves lives in, live in trees and pools of mud. That, then that. they're... Oh, never mind. And they have I their have weird little clan games. Yeah. You know, they just ritualistically tattoo each other all the time. Red. Not, not well, I mean, what's wrong with that? But the cool ones do. So, um, yeah, we, we make our way to this house, and Riz might be drooling a little bit as we're getting closer. <laughs> you okay? Uh, you falling asleep? No. Not a... Am Is I dreaming? Your... Pinch me. Hmm? Yeah. You shall about that? Yes. <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> I mean, ow! <laughs> I tried to pitch you ow, what are you talking about? That was... Oh, you hurt my arm, oh no. <laughs> I want to ask someone else next time. <laughs> and they just kind of move your top hat up, pat your head and put it back uh, I want to scam these people anyways, <laughs> they just lead the horse in to wherever they can park it near this place <laughs> okay, so as as your two vehicles approach uh, some of the serving staff are going to receive you tell you where you can park and then uh, inquire as to your business at the estate we are obviously adventurers, but we have some questions because we're looking for something. And we were wondering if we could talk to the uh, Horse Bristol family? Horse Bristol. The, the servants kind of blink a few times. Well, if you're adventurers and, and you're responding to the summons, correct? Sure. Oh, no, right this way. <laughs> Just... And the lot of you are whisked into the building Do with our Maria feet for the question. Echo on the floor at all? How big is this place? Look, give me, paint me a picture <laughs> of how beautiful this place so is. So <laughs> this place is like this beautiful, like Art Nouveau perfection dream, right? It's like if you if you took the greatest Art Nouveau architects who ever lived and gave them an unlimited budget and said create the largest fanciest domicile imaginable this is what they would have come up with you go up this great like massive marble staircase that's has no there's almost no straight lines anywhere everything looks like natural grown wood almost everything's curves and domes and spheres it's, it's wild there's glass and all of it's colored in different ways uh, you, you walk into this place and there's this just massive like A-framed hallway that just goes on and on and on has all these side rooms off of it there's these plush carpets everywhere, there's mosaic tiles all over the place it's, it is it's wild <sighs> <clears throat> but it the servants like will... old mummy <laughs> the servants will take you inside and say that if you're here for the summons then uh, all of the nobles are currently getting ready for their luncheon uh, you are welcome to join after that uh, okay so if you wouldn't mind waiting for a short time uh, you can meet them in one of the music halls but sure we would uh, like to specifically talk to the Horus Vista ones they'll Anyone of importance should be in attendance. All right. Hey, it's, it's, yeah. We are happy to help, so we will be patient. So, some time, you know, so they, they kind of lead you to a waiting area, which is actually just kind of like this smoking room, almost. So, so it's like these there? overstuffed chairs. Everything's plush leather, and there's like a humidor where there's a bunch of tobacco that you could just roll yourself a cigar and have a smoke if you wished. I was going to say, is there any cigars to steal? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a cigar. <laughs> yeah. All right. Levette, you can go ahead and roll yourself up a cigar and then pocket it if you wish. I shall. I'm going to have a fucking like master's collection 
<laughs> Go I'm ahead and add that to your character sheet. I'd like to appraise how much these cigars are first. I mean, it's it's high quality tobacco. It's high, well, think, I'm, I'm just wondering yeah. if is it like um, a gold piece worth or? Probably not. Damn. But... Okay. I think uh, Curla will also a follow its lead there after their cigar adventure back in Proto and uh, roll up one for themselves. Okay. They'll take yeah, the guess... tobacco, but they'll just put it in their pipe then for Riz. That's, that's fine too. So, so <laughs> am I the only one who feels like, despite how easy this is, like, everything is going as long as it could possibly go? <laughs> Isn't that what we do? Yeah, but I've been trying to work on it, and it feels like it happens every time. Yeah, I'm a disaster waiting to happen. It'll be fun. I guess. I'm fine with with crazy adventures, but uh, playing with my friends' feelings is a little tough out for me, I guess. Riz kind of shrinks a little and then just looks at you, unsure. Yeah, I guess so here is not that like there's uh, a different option. We could go across without talking to these people. I just. It felt like this would be safer for us to just know where it may be if we could just yes. get a hint on that end. I was just trying to cut corners. I... No, I think I think you made a good call. It would be better to be there without getting in trouble. I just hope we're not uh, we'll just hit the town. target we'll, on we'll, we'll head out of town as soon as we have it. Fuck these guys, right? No. <laughs> just said that last part a little quiet very quietly because <laughs> i don't know how echoey this fucking room is Just fuck these guys uh, it's, it's a very cozy house or this room is a very cozy room it's not designed to be giant and airy like most of the rest of this place this was designed to be to feel small cozy and lived in and it has like nice art on the walls and like hunting trophies things like that it's it's very much just like a place to kind of relax uh if you want to almost like to, to get away from people so we're about at lunchtime right now, right? Yeah, it's it, the lunch is currently being served to the nobles. Okay. So you're being asked to wait here. Are you about to say Um. Does Petravian do anything? Yeah, Anybody what's Petravian or? doing? I, I don't know if uh, Petravian's Petravian doing. Petravian is being very quiet, but, but he definitely wants to. He definitely rolled himself a cigar and just went. <laughs> so he's not allowed to talk to us either. I'm trying to keep up the uh, the, the... Suppose I don't want to make slip you, up. the vow they wouldn't talk to anyone and that does include you guys yeah <laughs> I just imagine I don't know why but I just imagine Petravian pulling his chair up like very loudly to where the cigars are like we're sitting talking just <laughs> also, mm -hmm. oh yeah no absolutely that's that, that that is right in line also, Petravian will um, feel I... a twinge on his neck. Like something just like mm -hmm. moving very suddenly. <clears throat> like a twitch. Mm -hmm. Kind of like... Reaches back. Tries to pull stung. a puddle. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <clears throat> She's reaching back trying to uh, get Hummel to come out. Of the do closet, you, he already is. Do you <laughs> grab Hummel? I, I do not grab, but I do def definitely kind of coax, like just, just nudge, nudge. Okay, then nothing comes out. Why there? <laughs> oh, she turns to the side and um, and goes, Hummel, why are you why are you just staying back there? Come on out. Oh, he can talk like that. Who are you talking to, Petravian? No response. Just twitching. What is going on, Lizzie? What is this? It's always something different every day. But look at that handsome mug. He's is he mad great. at me? What's going on? I feel like he's mad at all of us if he's not talking to us. Hmm. Well, that face was really mad. Are you saying yeah, I'm talking so? too much? 
That's a little Sorry, rude. we won't talk to you then, fine. You want me to Sorry. shut up? <laughs> He's just mouthing words. Is your so is your sword okay? Clearly I can probably help if you have like a soft sword. Oi, I mean right here. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> Hello, Batavian. This will be great for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just signing at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, um, this tobacco or whatever the fuck this is, the shit's great. Some good shit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I just kept stalled mine away, basically. Well, why don't you put so a couple you know, more in there, there and Riz just opens your bag and just shoves a little bit more and then closes it again? <clears throat> yeah, really strong, though. Mm hmm. It's so good. <laughs> Alright. So we're waiting. So, yeah, so a little time will pass and eventually the door will open. And a servant will come and fetch you all and say, Well, it is now time. Uh, the people have moved to a music room where you will be introduced and uh, introductions will be made on your behalf. Come with me, please. Of course. <clears throat> I guess we'll follow. <clears throat> the servant will lead you to a music room. Uh, you find an area that is fairly large. Um, it's a nice music hall. It's about 100 feet by 50 feet. And it has white and black tiled floors. There's red carpet accents in certain places. There's these plush seat, bench seats along the sides of the room. There are nobles milling around the room. There's a stage to one end with two short staircases leading up to it. Uh, there are a few musicians up on the stage performing with various stringed instruments, playing a slow, <clears throat> calming sort of... Uh, uh, string piece and the four of you are ushered into the room and, and a, one of the servants is going to turn and ask uh, how shall I introduce you? Um, Riz was about <laughs> to open their mouth and then they stopped and they looked at Levette Do I just say it? Belchin Savile? Yeah Oh, yes <laughs> Fortune's favor. We are fortune's favor. The servant will turn and announce fortune's favor. And uh, the four of you are allowed into the oh, ballroom. Fuck. I think if we get done next to the Nikop Adwin business, that might have been where else. If they can place what we said, then they can place whatever I would have come up with. Yeah, I feel like my fake name's pretty good at, like, <clears throat> yeah. What fake name? It's all real name. I don't know. It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> By the way, is it like keeping Archie from coming into any of these rooms? Because I'm not, I'm not keeping him from coming in unless he doesn't fit. Oh, Archie was out this whole time? Yes. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> Would he all right. fit in this building? He wasn't, he yeah. wasn't fit in most of the, I mean, there was, there have been, yeah. Rooms if they won't let him in or outside. he won't fit, and then he, yeah, he'll, 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 he'll wait outside. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned it, but I realize we've had a lot of breaks, but I think it was like a couple of sessions ago I said that if, if I don't say otherwise, he's generally out. Okay. Unless he's well, depressed. Unless yeah, he's, he he's, be. he's currently waiting outside. Okay. And you see ahead of you a hall filled with nobles and servant staff. You see nobles are in little clusters talking with each other uh, and many of them are holding little champagne flutes. There are servants walking around with various uh, trays of hors d'oeuvres and more champagne. As you enter, one of these servants is going to come by and offer champagne to the lot of you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, sure. Mm. Yeah, Carla will take a gla uh, a flute. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I should say sparkling wine. 
Because we're not it's in not, Parthenay. It's not yeah, from the Champagne region of Parthenay. Parthenay. We yeah. actually did decide what town it is. I just can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh, alcohol. I probably will dump it in a plant if no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, feel free to walk about. All right. Definitely waiting to drink any champagne until I see someone else drink champagne from the same lake. <laughs> you think that they're here to poison you and harvest your organs? I mean, I don't know. Vera doesn't like them, so just Levette's on edge. Riz is trying to like listen and see if they can find the right noble with the last name. I think it's a last name. I don't fucking know. They're just listening right now. It's the mm -hmm. first thing. It's Horace Bristol McGistol. <laughs> <laughs> so Riz will kind of move forward, their ears twitching to listen to conversation a little. Pretending to drink this thing, but not. Likewise, Petravian is just listening in on conversations as casually. Is sure. there anything I'm it's catching? Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh, I would love to. Like, if you say the magic or... word. Could you give me a perception check, please? Yeah. He said the thing. Ooh. Hey. That's a, a bad roll. 27 for me. But Travian gets a 27. <laughs> hey. That 21. is a 26 from Curla, so it looks like my luck has run out for the night. Oh, God. Levette, please beat us. No, we got a That's 21. Amazing. Petravian has the highest. Wow. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 so... whoa, whoa. Me <clears throat> and Petravian. No, Thank just, you. just Petravian. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you're right. You're right. A 2 and a 17 are the, the naked rolls there, and they have the same <laughs> final result. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep. Yep. So... That's the way it goes. You all are walking around listening, but most of what you're picking up is just catty bullshit. It uh, appears to just oh. be kind of general noble talk. Nothing of any kind of interest, just going from the, the, the empty minds of vapid people. <clears throat> oh boy. Are there any other small people? Any no. small races? No. Uh, One thing you do <laughs> notice uh, is actually the entirety of the nobles here, all of them are full blooded elves, high elves yeah, specifically. Absolutely. Let's tries to get in on conversations, but just the fact that she's like, like she just says a few things and people just talk over. It. Yeah, they they literally talk over Levet. It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, everybody mostly talks over Levet, but not Petravian because he's not talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're standing around uh, or walking through this area. Yeah. Uh, one person is going to walk up after having like noticed, you know, Petravian there, full armor, like looking all imposing and shit. Is going to take a step forward, and uh, you see a, a man who has short brown uh, hair in a stylish fashion, sweeping back across his scalp. He has smooth, nearly perfect skin and piercing brown eyes. I hate him already. He says, "Ah." You would be one of those adventurers we've been hiring, wouldn't you? He nods. Pleasure to meet you. I am Tenethil Fitkorin. He holds his hand out to shake yours. Petravian uh, holds out his hand, and but he, he gestures to his mouth. You um, And just shakes his he head. He can't speak. I'm so sorry. And Riz will kind oh, of an old, in. Ah, an old battle wound, I'm sure. Well... Mm, something like very that. Very well. to his face. <laughs> yes. He was oh. grievously killed once. Hmm. I see. That would be all of that, then. He kind of gestures to the side of Petravian's head. Yeah. His hand. He got better. Huh. Well, it seems you've had a, an interesting life. Well, how would you like to make it a little bit more interesting? <laughs> um... We're actually mm. looking for something alongside of assisting. Mm. But you do intend to travel into the quarantine zone? Probability if we can f f fulfill what we are looking for. Sure. 
what are you looking for exactly? Um, well, there was this thing that was commissioned to be made about like six to seven years ago ish, and we are kind of in the search for this object of whatever kind it is. In the, uh, I think it might have been made by, oh God, <laughs> the. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just kind of stop for a moment. The horse missiles. Horus. <laughs> be the horus missiles. Carlo has, has kind of walked up at this time and will, no. will walk to the other side of Petra. Yes. The horus missiles, I believe it was. Carla, mm -hmm. please, Carla, and only Carla, please make a perception check. Okie dokie. I don't like where this is going. Oh, that is a 32. That's a good one. You, you, Curla, and only Curla notices that this noble is going to, like, upon Curla speaking, this noble, uh, Tanithil, is going to, like, look over at Curla to, like, acknowledge them as after the first hearing their voice, and is going to immediately look back to the other two of you. But Despite... only, Curla, only, only Curla notices the immediate, um, sort of, Disinterest. Yeah. Dismissal of Curla. Yes, Horus Vistal. Thank you, Carla. Yes. Well, if you're heading up that way, there are quite a few things there. Uh, I suppose you're looking for some sort of old abandoned magic items. Uh, that's always that's always the rumors, right? I suppose. Um, would you happen to be able to point us towards that family at all? Certainly. And if you're willing to make a side trip, we would be happy to pay you quite a lot of gold. What, what exactly is quite a lot? Hmm. Well, I suppose that depends on how successful the journey is, but I would say at minimum 100,000 gold pieces. <laughs> Each, and, I assume? Uh, he looks, he looks to the four of you and says, if you can succeed as wildly as I, as I could hope, I'll do you even more than that. 100,000 each, and then a bonus 100,000. <laughs> Riz is trying but, not to fucking so faint it? over here. I'm not going to put a cart in front of a horse. I mean, of course, this is a difficult task and something that we've found little success in over the, the years. The quarantine zone is not a pleasant place. Wait, uh, what is it that they have been this quarantine zone that's worth so much to you, if it's all right for me to ask? Oh, I don't much care for what's in there. Mostly, I care for get, getting rid of what's in there. If you catch my drift, Riz raises an eyebrow, but they they look interested. Go on. Well, the swarm, of course. Right. If we can strike at its heart and destroy it, we can reclaim the city. There is a heart to it all. Isn't there always? <laughs> the swarms have to live somewhere. A nest, a hive of some sort. We you were saying we know where it is. A sense of, of what, I'm saying? Well, to things like they were before that damnable swarm appeared and killed half the city. So I'm, I'm confused. Is that what is the offer? Or are we, is all the eventual being paid to retrieve items? And some are being paid to retrieve items, but not for me at least. I see. I'm more interested in seeing an end to this entire scourge. You know, and I'm willing to stake quite a bit of my family's wealth behind it. Hey. I can understand why. It seems like it has caused a lot of problems here in the city. It's made things more difficult than they need to be, and created undue suffering for both ourselves and from the people that work for us. I'm sure you've seen the state of things as you came here. I, I have. I've been what have you done to uh, aid them? We've increased pay. Yes, this is true. That seems what to have made their it? lives more tolerable. Yep, their first shortened <laughs> lives as a result of it. <laughs> um, 
no, what is my understanding? If something has been applied to the world is to keep this form Oh, no. yes, yes, Aroni's barrier. It's quite a yeah. genius thing, truly. The Aroni family has been ever the brilliant alchemists. And he's, <laughs> as you say, as he says that, another person's going to walk behind him and like pat him on the shoulder. This person has long, wavy blonde hair with green eyes, an athletic build with an oval and attractive face, another male high elf. Yes, of course we do. <laughs> Some of us actually have to do something important. Unlike my friend here, he nods toward Tanithil. I'm <laughs> I'm Marikoth Aroni. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, it is a pleasure as well. And Riz just... Um... At first, they were going to hold out their hand, and then they think better of it, so they just kind of do a very quick curtsy, but it's unpracticed, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'll extend my hand. And that's a mind of science. Ah, indeed. I am really well to make any balance, so I'm curious. What the goes in with this, this spellio, if you may speak of it? Ah, well, it's a cocktail of various fumatic homogenous <laughs> it's uh well let's say it's something you wouldn't want to inhale for very long it causes hemorrhaging of the lungs very deadly to insect life and humans bad judging by all the bodies pay left now right well with enough exposure sure you see isn't and, uh, your uh, only entrance by said wall close enough to it but well, wouldn't it be safer to make another entrance, like not near it? Near hair, for example, yeah, since you're yeah. about as far away from the wall as you can get. And modify the outer wall of the city? No, that's unnecessary. And I'm assuming that the swarm has been uh, very dangerous, probably killing a lot of people with all this to be uh, the, the necessary measures, yes? Oh, nearly half the city's population at last check. Um, Petravian will look at the both of them and try to sign why no build new city. Is that what those signs mean? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I actually, do, I, I actually was uh, have a minor in sign language. That's cool. Very cool. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at these that superpowers cool. that you just get to whip out. Awesome. <laughs> um, I was just checking because I was like, that seemed familiar, but I wasn't sure. Throw that one at us again. I, I want to see it again. Yeah, do it again. Oh, please. Why? No. It was I build. New. And then city was like, if I, if I remember correctly, it was, it's been oh, many a year, but it was like, Little um, towers, essentially. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Correctly. We just learned something new. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but seriously, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. All right. So uh, he looks at you and answers and says, "We'd already constructed an entire city here." infrastructure, factories, roads, everything. People already lived here. Our entire estates were here. Still are. This only happened a few years ago. We'll have everything back to normal soon enough. Even at current rate of expansion, we should have the city fully secured within two decades. But with so your assistance, <laughs> if things go at least to fit core or to a my Fitcore and friends here is plan. Uh, perhaps in six months, things will be back to normal. If you want us to try and fix it, it might help if we knew more about how it all went down. You said six years ago. What can you tell us about what happened? They both kind of grimace. Ugh. The incident. Eh, sure, we'll tell you. But I will need another drink. And when he, one of them turns up, uh, offer them my champagne. <laughs> <laughs> like I already have an elbow. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, Mar Maricoth Aroni will take your champagne and sip it. Ah, it was a good year. Yeah. Anyway, 
Yes, it was about six years ago. There was some rabble rouser that had been, well, trying to change the way things were around here, you know, unify the workers and such. You know the type. Oh, yeah, you've got a pretty good idea who you might mean. The kind uh, you might mean, I mean. Yeah, R Riz just shoots Curla a look. Well. <sighs> Things went all right for a time. And then, well, things began to become more violent. Suddenly guards were being attacked in the streets. Things became chaotic. A response was made and, well, we sent a detachment of city patrol and guards to find this camp that these people had made after they smuggle workers out of the city. They had some sort of uh, some sort of cult or some such outside Sounds of like town. Sounds like this guy know what he was doing. Say what? Sounds like this guy really know what he was doing. <laughs> well, not exactly. The guard showed up. There was a single pitched battle and, well, a lot of them were taken in custody. Well, those that survived the fight. The ringleader was being brought back here for trial and execution. Shakes the the noble shakes his head. You hear another voice from the other side, from from behind you, and this one sounds a little gruffer and with a little more anger behind it. And if it weren't for a group of fucking uninformed adventurers, she'd be dead today. We don't need their kind. You know that, right? If you turn, you look and you see a another person standing there. You see someone wearing guard armor, a little more ornate than the town guards you were seeing in the streets. He has a slight burn scar on his face, and he has sort of this overall grizzled look about him. Hello. We don't need their kind. Can you handle this? I'm not about to send any more men into the quarantine zone. Of course not. We're, more, so we're doing things on our own timetable. If these two wish to advance things with some sort of drastic plan, that's on them. All I know is the last time adventurers got involved in the city, things went sideways. I'd prefer to not see that happen again. Hmm. Could you maybe elaborate a little bit, and then we'll make yeah. sure that we don't do the same thing again? <laughs> Obviously, it helps to know things so you can avoid making sure. the same mistakes. Right. So when, things, when things got violent... One of the cultists, their leader, cast some kind of spell, brought down hell on this place. The swarm started. So, the first thing we did was retaliate, try to find their damned little camp, root them out, and maybe get the swarm to stop if we figured if we killed the people that did it, it might cause the spell to end, or whatever some such thing this was. Sure enough, we find their camp, put most of them to the sword, find their leader. We're in the middle of bringing them back here when some group of damned do-gooders shows up and decides, just seeing a group of guards having a prisoner, they decide that, oh, this must be some sort of group of bandits or some such. I have no idea how they could dis how they could make the dis that mistake, being that we're wearing city seals on our armor come in, cause enough of a ruckus that the prisoner slips away and disappears into the bush. We never found her. He spits. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Riz just kind of takes a step back. Normally they'd have their cloak to 
kind of move themselves away more subtly, but they just take a step away. Well, we wouldn't be here in this situation if we thought you are the bandits, so I think well, we don't have to worry about that one. Yes, of course. All I know mm -hmm. is that your kind acts before you think and oftentimes make things worse, so think mm -hmm. before you do things, all right? Of course. He turns and begins to walk away. It's no, it's we're on your side of girls, right? Riz is one just watching him. One, no, one question, and, and Curla will, will turn back to the other two. Mm hmm. Nobles. Yeah, you said that uh, this lady was smuggling workers out of the city. They uh, they weren't allowed to leave on their own, then? They were allowed to leave. But. So, why would they need to be smuggled? Rabble Rouser was converting them to some sort of extremist religion. Sounds terrifying. What was so extreme about them? Well, they wanted to bring down the entire society. Wanted to tear down any kind of order, any kind of hierarchy. I mean, it's madness. Oh, of course. Naturally, you can't have that. Truly. How would society function without someone to tell you what to do? <laughs> Who would be working in your factories and, and making sure that you stay rich and nice surroundings like that? Oh, it makes sense to me. Right, and who would construct the factories were it not for the people that put the money forward to do so? Oh, I mean, also, you do good. Well, we created the factories and are employing the people to work in them. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, everybody's getting nervous over here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we will take a look at the predicament that you spoke of. Uh, you said you would in introduce us to the uh, this family name. We were curious about for the magical items, of course. Horus Vestal. That one. Uh, the Horus Vestal. Me, by the way, are they like? They're definitely like, the ones definitely annoyed by you, being that you're Excellent. like trying to be very pro worker, even though like you're. <laughs> Your points don't make any sense because it's like the whole reason the city's here is because they built it. I so it's wasn't like all oh, that the people should well. own everything. But again, it's cool, but the city wouldn't be here otherwise. So, I don't think I would. Well, Carola wasn't being all that pro worker. They were trying to like make them believe that they were on their side. Actually, it sounded also. sarcastic. Yeah. It sounded well, super sarcastic to there, me. That's how I was reading it. that. It was meant to be much less sarcasm than coming across, so clearly I need oh, to work shit. on okay. that. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought you were, like, intentionally trying to barb them. No. Yeah, that's okay. what it sounded like. No, okay. No, just the sound of my voice, apparently. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um, I anyway. was being sarcastic. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle about it, but I was being sarcastic. <laughs> anyway. Travian has been, um, has just been, like, Gripping. Sure he's been doing a fantastic palm. job. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just no gripping the, the, the pommel of his hammer, <laughs> just like. Mm -hmm. Riz will actually kind of, well. since they're next to you, will actually tap your amber arm and just look up at you to just check that you're okay. Just deep breathing. Smiling but deep breathing. He knows what's imp he knows how important this is to not just take the hammer to this to this asshole's head. Anyways, you said you would introduce us, right? Well, the Horus Vistal family was perhaps the hardest hit of all of the noble houses. That's there are a few of them left this day. Poor things. I'm afraid uh, those that are left rarely spend time with the public. Oh, would we not be able to meet them now? Perhaps after you were successful, we would put you in touch with them. That isn't what we spoke of. What would you need to know from them? We want to attempt to retrieve an enchanted item. We need to know what, where we might find it, and in turn, offer to perhaps find something for them along the way. We are, of course, here to help, but uh, 
we have there are some items that would be of interest to lowly adventurers like us, not very useful for someone like you, that we know mm -hmm. should be on the other side of the world. We just and figured we're... one one whole round of doing things is much smarter than going back and forth. That could risk more people's yes. lives. And they Great. could also they, I believe they would know where to find what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. I suppose I can put you in contact with one of them. But... Thank you. Be wonderful. Uh, I want to make sure we understand that we're on the same page here. Are you not taking my offer for the work or not? Oh, we will try. If we can find the solution, oh. of course. The, yes, I do not really... Insects are not my speciality, so where all the health is, the swarm is... No, you simply go to where the swarm's the thickest and you place one of these handy devices that my friend Marikoth here has been building. Well, he calls them inventive. bug bombs. Oh. Well, How inventive. I'm pretty sure they're insects, but... Yeah, well, this is quite a thing. Um, I, I mean, we, we came to this... Uh, this occasion on the understanding you of thieving magic items. So that's that's what we know is in our capability. But we'd be happy to help if we can. Hmm. Two birds with one stone, you know, that hard thing. Right, okay. and well, I figure if you manage this task, then it would be much easier to loot out anything else you need. Of but course. it's a very good point. But we might as well know all the information that we can before we hit it. Yeah. So if it you wouldn't would mind. In no one's best interest for us to go in and prepare. That's true. I'm not quite sure what information you're looking for that would be useful from Look, the old man. Look, I've but... said it a couple of times, but it is what it is. Uh, we simply need the information. Um, now, if you either could give me directions or introduce me, I would be very grateful. Plus, you did mention with so few of them left, and he's an old man, it might do him some good to learn that we're on the case and might be able to help him restore his fortunes a little bit if we can take care of the swarms. That's something he might want to learn sooner rather than later. But the swarm, taking care of the swarm plan is not his, it's mine. Right, but you'll all benefit from it. Right, but what good does it do to speak with him about it? I we just can learn want to find out need. where the item is, that's literally it. Like, Me. if we can help him find something of his own as well, wonderful. You understand if you don't perform the work, I won't pay you, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait here. He turns and walks away. Obviously frustrated by you guys. <laughs> well, we're frustrated by him too. Fuck him. Seriously. <laughs> Was I unclear? But was I don't know, was he like... was like, oh sure, we'll do that, and then he started talking about his idea and started shoving his money in my face. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's pretty normal, like, this, I work with business people before, and they want you to do their thing and not other people's thing. It's just politicking, you got to be used to it. Yeah, he was looking at me like giving was... to people. He was looking at me like I was dirt under his shoe, and I was doing my best to keep a civil tongue, but... That's not going to last much longer. Uh, I, you are dirt under his shoe. Yes, thank you for that, Birdie. <laughs> Never forget. Never forget. These are high elves you're dealing with. Hmm. My favorite. Y'all thought soul was bad. <laughs> and I didn't... I'm just grateful I didn't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Not yet. No, <laughs> we have room. <laughs> yeah, there's still time. The night is young. Yeah, that's 20 minutes. You've got plenty of time there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can fuck it up how quickly I can do that. We weren't supposed to follow him, right? Were we supposed to no. follow him? No. Okay. So, coming up from behind you, uh, a different group of nobles sort of approaches. Uh, this is a group of noble women. Hello there. How the are first you one, all today? Oh, they, they're going to preempt you. Oh. The first, The first one comes up and she stands um, slightly short for her race, uh, has well-braided brown hair and matching eyes. Her clothing is a finely crafted trumpet-style dress embellished with pearls, 
and gold thread, her lean build is evidence of a lifestyle of leisure. She takes a look at Petravian of all three, or all the four of you. Well, aren't you an interesting looking individual? So tall and well chiseled. <laughs> he, um, he appreciates the compliment. Bows. Uh, he he cannot a... verbally speak, though. We do apologize. Oh, oh my dear. Was it some sort of battle wound? Mm hmm. As you can see, he's been mortally killed before and just taps his amber arm. <laughs> she, she speaks a little bit louder for no reason <laughs> as she talks to him. <laughs> my dear. I am Falaria Eroni. It's it's nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Um, Would you like anything to eat? Are you hungry? You. I love and hate this. Um, Riz just raises their hand because they don't know how to respond. He can still hear you normally. He just can't speak to you. Oh, I wasn't sure if since he was injured, maybe no, his ears were his also hurt. His ears were just fine <laughs> but okay. thank you so oh, much for being so courteous you're so of sweet <laughs> the, the other two noble women both roll their eyes they're, they're standing like a step behind this first one mm -hmm. uh, they both roll their eyes his eyes kind of flick to each one just curiously uh, the one to her left is about six feet tall with long auburn hair worked into enormous curls, uh, accenting her green eyes with a black A-line dress embellished with a silver trim. She has a soft and pretty face that frames her shining eyes quite well. And to the right, or to rather your left, uh, is a noble woman who has short braided black hair, which tops her medium and athletic frame. Uh, her somewhat plain face is punctuated by her dark, nearly black eyes, her skin is a fine copper color. Between this and her build, it hints at a lifestyle of outdoor activities. Huh. Well, um, it's very nice to meet you all, um, my ladies. Oh, where are my manners? I am Filaria Aroni. This is Cyrodiil Fitcorin and Alyssa Liarum. It's very nice to meet you all. How are you feeling today? Oh, quite well. We heard that there was adventures that were going to be taking up the call. It's mm. interesting to see the lot of you, all from mm -hmm. such different walks of life. I didn't know people were talking about us. Well, well, it's the big news, putting out a call for adventures, you know. People willing to go into that ghastly, ghastly quarantine zone. Well, it's not bad. And are we the uh, the first group to take up the call, or just the latest that's still alive? The uh, some of them kind of like shift a little bit uncomfortably. Oh, I I suppose it doesn't hurt to say that you're not the first. Of course not, darling. It wouldn't be here otherwise. Yes, right. but I assume we'd be the last. <laughs> well. I certainly hope so. <laughs> yes, we all can hope for that. Uh, was there something you wanted to add or ask us otherwise? Other than Petravian oh, just... being handsome, of course. Well, you just, you're all so exotic, I suppose, is a way to put it. <laughs> that is you way. have to understand, we only really see well, each other around here. It's interesting to see people from such far-flung parts of the world. Riz kind of looks at their own hand for a moment, just kind of debating. <laughs> Could I disintegrate them? No, they're actually no. just wondering what they see. Oh, That's all. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't do that in public in yeah, front of perhaps people you, uh, who can see it. Perhaps you might want to get out more, see some of the world see some of that exotic stuff for yourself oh we most of us really shouldn't do things like that 
it's far too dangerous and you're so safe here <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> how nice for you well it was lovely meeting all of you oh my goodness it was so nice. lovely meeting all of you you're all so beautiful and kind you think I'm interesting <laughs> yeah you got some high elf noble women who are like you know looking y'all over <laughs> yeah, so, the word exotic is so complimentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on the context. Yeah. Mm, no! Not the best context. No. 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 There's very few The only exotic thing I wanted to be around is an exotic car. That's the only word way I would use that word, is exotic car. I feel like Lavette will go for any... <laughs> Any woman who, like, oh, flutters no. her eyes, probably. No, it would go for, like, any potential compliment. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's not like, okay, sure. Oh, yeah. All right. Simply. So, <laughs> a little later. So, so the, anyway, they'll they'll kind of politely say their goodbyes and bow away. And a little later, the uh, initial nobleman, uh, one Tanithil Fitkorin, will come back with a very old man in tow. He is pretty aged. Um, he's wearing oh. clothing that definitely is not in style anymore. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. But uh, he's also a, the oldest elf you've probably ever seen. He actually has wrinkles, which is Whoa. very weird for an elf. Chris looks a little fascinated all, by that. His hair's all white, and he's got wrinkles, and he's sort of blinks quite a bit, like he's hard of, of sight at this point in his life. Hello, sir. Oh, yes. What? What is it? Um, we are adventurers, and we are searching for an item that perhaps you or your family or someone who worked under you might have worked on. Um... It was a commission that was asked for about six to seven years ago to kind of make a uh, siphon of sorts. I don't know if that rings any bells for you. It would hmm. have been commissioned from someone in Vil. It's been quite some time since I've worked in the actual creation of these things, but... Uh. I did keep my head involved in some of the design phases of various projects that we took on, and I recall something there at the end about a, a siphon. Yeah, there's a, there's a large project. Yes. Money paid in advance. <laughs> but uh, it was I never finished. It. That's okay. We just need to know where all is being well done. We uh. This is in the work. Workshops. Of course. I guess that makes sense. It's your workshops, I assume? You think it would still be there? Unless the swarm carried it off. Ugh, that <laughs> would be terrible. It was never cool. worked. It's not much more than the rough design and a few pieces of inscribed tubes. Versus regretting their life choices right now. <laughs> and uh, well, which client? It's a now start, I suppose. Is uh, is your residence in? I didn't catch that. What? Which which section is your residence in? Your factory. Well, the, the north. Of course. Like... Horus Vistal Estate is the northernmost star of this once beautiful city. And that's also where your workshops were located. Mm hmm. But Petravian feels some ruffling of a paper in his armor. Do you remember this? You have. You have. You, uh... you know you can talk verbally <laughs> as a player, right? Oh, I'm not Sorry, here. No. I'm, I'm trying. No, I'm trying to think of what you're talking about. Um. You, you have a piece of paper that Vera slammed into your person in the last episode. Yes. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Hummel's I don't like, remember that. 
motherfucker! It has a, a picture of like it's like a pentagon, and right uh -huh. at the right at the top is a circled bit. Would have been nice for Petravian <laughs> to tell the group that. Yeah, yeah, it would have. But don't worry, he's not talking to anyone. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank mm -hmm. you so mm -hmm. much for all your help, sir. It mm -hmm. has been wonderful. Um, hopefully we can help out with the whole situation and Riz will gesture to the other noble as if being like, cause this person's idea, just trying to boost him up. Yeah. <laughs> he he kind of puffs up at that and acknowledge, like happy to be acknowledged. Yeah. So the, the older elf, um, who didn't even fully introduce himself uh, is going to nod and mumble something about wanting to go sit down. He's going to uh, have a wonderful over. evening, sir. He's going to head over and sit at one of the nearby benches. <sighs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like um, when you said it was over there, I saw this and that future's I didn't think he was out. I didn't mean to disturb him. <laughs> So, so now at this Ravian. point, um, only Tanithil is standing like near you guys. The other nobles have all kind of given you space. Mm -hmm. uh, Petravian. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Go. Go screw. Uh, Petravian, like having a Br brain blast. Are you gonna brain... say brain yeah. blast? <laughs> yeah. I was about to say fucking brain blast. No, no. Go ahead. Brain uh, blast! <laughs> Not yell that out, obviously. Oh but, my god, he's cured! Um, <laughs> the first... <laughs> <laughs> He'll pat down his his armor, reach in, and uh, slide this paper to Riz. <laughs> they kind of give it. Okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Let me see. What's, what are you upset about, please? Just hands it to Levat. It's, it's basically all the information you needed. <laughs> just very it's slowly roll like, up. It's just like Horus Vistal circled at the top of a, panic, at a at of a pentagon shape, and then it says like, probably here. <laughs> Brilliant. Outstanding. <laughs> Hey, Petrovian. Mm. Mm. Oh, you don't mm. have a slight in your throat. I know about your wound and everything. <laughs> you could just... I, 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 you just, you know, just yelled to me. Uh, when did you get this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll flutter over. Ear right next to his mouth. Yeah. GG mouths yesterday. Oh! <laughs> we might talk about the city to my outside. Which... You, you see Riz's eye twitching. <laughs> Which uh, yesterday is actually protean for. 16 days ago. 16 days yeah. ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful language, Protean. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. we will... Um, you said there was a bug bomb, yes? Um, yes. So when when you're ready, uh, just swing around to the Aroni wing of the manor, and oh. my associate will deliver the device to you. We might He'll explain how it works. In the morning, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, well, like I said, 100,000 gold pieces to each of you mm -hmm. with a further bonus of 100,000 to split. And do we need anything to, uh, to get past the gates? Do we need anything amazing or slow them? I'll give you a written seal. It's oh, fine. Wonderful. Thank well, you so much. That will be given to you with the de device you pick up tomorrow. Of course. Girls. <laughs> Um, we just need to plan everything out, maybe get a good map so we can kind of plot this out so we're not going in blind. Uh, do you have a map? <clears throat> uh, certainly, yes, yes. Uh, we can 
we can get you a, a reasonable map of the Thank entire city. You. you are so sweet, yeah. and your idea is fantastic. Was yes. there anything else you required? No, no you've that... been extremely accommodating. Yes. I really held this in here, and you've done so much for us. Exactly. Well, with what the four the of your help, we might just save the city yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we hope to save it a height. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to um, take our leave so we're not disturbing all of your uh, enjoyment at the moment. So, mm -hmm. thank you very much for having us, and we hope you have a wonderful evening. He nods and bids you all a good day. Riz we'll takes a Travian other hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grab his other <laughs> And they just kind of start walking out with him. Just all smiles, get patting it. From time yeah, to turning time. Around. <laughs> Heading out of the bill out of the room, mm -hmm. and as you do, you hear a, a voice call out, "Excuse me." We turn to the. Vo I turn to the voice. Yeah, we. I'll turn to the voice. Wait, turn to the voice. Very okay. slowly. You turn, and as you guys are, are leaving, uh, a noble has kind of called you. Let me just position it set a little bit better here. You're about to leave the room. A noble steps forward and calls out to you all. You turn and you see a full-blooded elf. Ageless. Shocker. and Right. <laughs> ageless and attractive by any standard. Uh, her features are further enhanced by skillful application of makeup, and her clothing is incredibly finely crafted. Her blue and gold dress has a window exposing a generous bosom. Uh, her copper hair is styled into a mix of long flowing hair as well as well as a well-maintained braid coming down and laying across her shoulder. Uh, her silver eyes shine with a bright intellect, belying a depth to her that could easily be overlooked as just another noble. And uh, she stops, and she's going to say, Excuse me. Yes? Did I hear right that you were going to be heading into the quarantine zone? More than likely, um, yes. Yes, that is why we are here to party. Oh. Well, if uh, I could trouble you for maybe making a quick stopover, I can pay you a little bit of gold if you do. Depends on the kind of stopover. What is it? Else? Well, there's a, a lockbox that I kept in my bedroom back in my old home. It has very much a high sentimental value to me. If you could retrieve it, I would be glad to pay you for it. Um, keep an eye out. Yes, if you can um, perhaps give us a, a signal on a map or something where we could look in the exact location, that's, that would help us out the most, probably, if we're around it. Certainly, it's the eastmost part of the top floor of the Vanny estate. On the east side of town. Okay. Okay, I said you can down. And sorry, what was your name? Tayeli. Tayeli Vianney. It's nice to meet you. It is very nice good. to meet you too, my lady. Um. Uh, may I ask? I know that you some of the nobles here can be a little bit <sighs> troublesome, and I. I do hope that they haven't rubbed you too far the wrong way. But realize that we're not all that way. And some of us just miss the way things were. No, oh, of course. No, no wrong clubbing. No, not. Yes. Do we? Nobody. We are fine. Love that. Is there anything dangerous in this lockbox? You said sentimental value, but people can value strange things sentimentally. Not unless letters are going to be hurting anyone. <laughs> I suppose not. Mm. They certainly can, but... Well, I of course don't imagine that they would, though. No. Yes, just... as I said, we would keep an eye out. Obviously, with all the things, way things are out, something small like that may not be there anymore, but we'll do our best. It wasn't a lockbox that was fairly secure, so Wait, this, it should still I be. I hear some of these bugs know how to pick locks. <laughs> Unless the bugs know how to pick locks, you're right. But if you find it, I would 
pay you handsomely for it. We will keep our eyes out for it, my lady. Yes, of course. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Um, hopefully when we return, we will hopefully have something of yours. She smiles sweetly and bows politely. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. kind of bow back. And she will turn and return to the conversation she was having. Oh, I really like to talk in this car. We really need to talk outside. Yeah, yes, we need to talk outside, Petravian. <laughs> Come on. Looking over at the nobles, the uh, the the noble women that was that were uh, that were fawning over him for a sec for a hot second. Hmm. Are you scared of me, Petravian? I'm like a cold in your sides. <laughs> so we lead Petravian out of the ballroom. Okay. Oh, goody. <laughs> As you you lead, you head out of the ballroom and get out of earshot of any of the serving staff or guards. Uh, and... What the fuck, Petravian? And that's where we're going to call it an evening. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time. Thanks for listening. As always, special thanks to William Succi and Andreas Pitchler for the intro and outro themes, and Emily Roll for Fantasy for this episode's soundtrack. Interested in following us on social media? Follow us on Twitter at CheckPleaseDnd. Or want to support the podcast and be part of the Czech Republic? Go to our Patreon under the Czech Republic. Until next time! <laughs>